Hello everyone and welcome to my commentary long play world in our better Minecraft version of the game. We've got lots of modded blocks filling up our world, lots of new custom structures that we've built up, and in our last one we made an iron shop and I'm, I'm very glad to finally have a solid source of iron. So we've got our little shop here, there's not a whole lot of things in our drawers yet. But we do have our little iron farm down here, which we're gonna eventually populate a bunch of iron in chests up there. Well, here's what we have so far. I've been trading some of this iron downstairs because I did decide to convert some of my villagers into weaponsmith and the toolsmiths. So we've gotten some of them up to diamond shovels. We've got some unbreaking pickaxes and shovels. And we've got Joseph over here giving us some full diamond. So we've got some options, but of course we do need emeralds. So we might have to do something else with that. But I've kind of just been keeping a little bit of iron down here. But we obviously uh, have some other little uh, diamond hoes and things in these chests to trade with our little friends here. But we, uh, we have our zombie Frankie who's doing a wonderful job in the back. Now today I want to do something, oh, um, you're not supposed to be here, buddy. I'm sorry, this is not the place. One of the issues I have been having is uh, spawning. I've been having a lot of issues with them just spawning where they're not supposed to. So we uh, we definitely have to fix that. I thought that um, I, I fixed this issue, but obviously we didn't. So we still have to do a lot of fixing of some spawning. Sp spots that they can uh, just keep spawning in our world but you know I'm, I'm getting iron we've got some poppies I've just been kind of adding poppies to this area to kind of fit the vibe of our little iron shop but you know I clearly still have some spawning issues with the iron golems but as far as today I want to put a lovely new build over by our little windmill over here and I want it to be an animal barn. So I've already decided that we're going to put our animal barn right in here. And we obviously have quite a bit of terraforming to do because we are going to make the front of the barn be around here and then push it back like 17 blocks, I would say. And so we're going to terraform the mountain a little bit today. And we're going to use a lot of spruce, our classic sakura, and we are going to use some of the calcite. So those are kind of the main three building blocks that we're going to use, but it's mainly going to be made out of spruce. So we have to go and start collecting up some of those supplies. And I know that I have a bunch of spruce saplings, but I don't want them to end up having a ton of the podzol spawning everywhere. So we're gonna grab some saplings. And I think I've been saving some dirt. We'll take some coarse dirt. And then I think I have bone meal. Yes, we've got bone meal. And I think if we just start collecting resources right away, I'd say let's grab some chests here. So I'll grab two chests. And then we can put the rest of our building blocks in said chests. Now, I don't need a ton of calcite, but I do want to have some kind of texture in this. So we've got our calcite here. We've got a little bit of polished calcite as well. And I think... Oh, interesting. These are both polished calcites because they're... But since they're from two different mod packs, it won't let me combine them. That is a little bit frustrating, but it's a, it is okay. It is fine. We will uh, just make do how we can. Now, let's see. We do need a bit of sakura because that's gonna be our roof trim. So I'm gonna take some of these and we're gonna use the fences and fence gates as kind of the in-between blocks for all of the animals that we're gonna add. So we can start with these ones and putting in some little uh, chests, all of the supplies we've collected so far. I'm gonna also add a bunch of granite as kind of the bottom level, kind of like we did on the windmill. So that's kind of the, the other idea that I have, but I'll just put the chests right here and then we'll take the calcite and let's just use some, let's actually use the calcite. I think we'll have enough calcite to make this work, but we'll bring our calcite with us and we're gonna use the calcite to kind of help us mark out where we are going to be placing this. And there's a little lizard friend just chilling about. 
Now, as far as the height, I, I don't need this to be super high up, but we do, are gonna have somewhat of a path to get up here. And I feel like if we flatten this out, actually on the same level where we have our chest, I think this is probably gonna be the best. And then we can just use some coarse dirt and make some stairs up here. And we'll kind of just start collecting up some of the dirt to kind of create a little bit more flattened out of an area and maybe even push this out a bit so that maybe this hill comes out to like right here. And then we can have it be more of a slow gradual slope instead of such a sharp incline right away that even our little moo bloom isn't gonna probably wanna go around and climb up. But I think we're just gonna start doing some terraforming first. I think we'll just level this quite a bit. But as far as where we're going to start this, I think we'll have the start of our little animal barn be about where I am. I think we're going to have it be on this level, but we'll have the front of it be this high. And I've got my good work pick here. So we'll start here and then I'm going to put these in my offhand, but we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I want this to be 11, but I'm trying to gauge how far over to push this instead of building on this side. But I think I want to put the rest of the blocks on the other side. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we'll go 10 and 11. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we've got our shovel. And then we'll go 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. We'll just start scooping some up. 11, 12, 13, 14, and we're going to 17 long. I think we're at 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I did hit it right. Okay. Perfect. So then this is at least what we know we're going to end up pushing back. So we do need to do some terraforming. We've got quite a bit to kind of just carve out right here. And then I'm going to collect a bunch of the dirt from up here. And I'm going to move that to here to kind of create that more slow incline with our terraforming like we talked about and like I was mentioning. But we'll start with just here, and we can start just scooping some of this out to start making room for our build. But we are finally giving a home to our animals. I haven't really had animals be around here. Actually, let me just vein mine. Ooh, there we go, and vein mine. I always forget I can do this vein mining thing, and it's literally so helpful. There we go. Look at that, vein mine to the rescue. I'm a huge fan. This makes it go way quicker, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, look at that, we're almost done. Oh, actually vein miner is a huge, a lifesaver to say the least. But like I was saying, like we're finally gonna have a place for all of our animals. I've felt a little bad that we don't really have a lot of animals around here. We have the cows in our cow crusher, and that's kind of it. And uh, I would like there to be more animals than just the ones uh, that are there for our food source, more or less. So I think it'll be great to just have some more animals in our area. I'm, I'm very excited about it. And I think it'll just be a nice kind of like complete build. I feel like an animal barn is always a really good one to add into an area so that you have some animals, we can get wool whenever we need it, we can just have access to a lot of the, the little things that come from the animals, like we'll have chickens, you know, we can get some chicken eggs. Oh, oh, okay, don't like you. Hi, no thank you. I saw you sneaky little dude. Not okay, Mr. Creeper. And hello. I don't like how there's these caverns. Whoa, this is a cavern and a half. <laughs> Ooh, the echo, I love the echo. I still can't get over the echo, it's so nice. Okay, I always feel like, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a skeleton. 
way down there. You never knew what was coming. Okay. I feel like this is enough torches. Oh. Okay. This should be enough uh, torches to just uh, not have them come after us. We should be good. Alright. Now we can just clean this up. Oh, I literally think I accidentally just like fully uh, picked up our line. Yeah, I definitely just picked up our line of calcite. That is actually so funny. Okay, well, that's fun. All right, we had one. Two. We'll go from this back. I knew we had this back picked out, right? We were like right over here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we'll get rid of the, the sack of the tree. But I don't have an axe on me, actually. Um, that's unfortunate. We'll just quickly uh, make a crafting table. And then we can just uh, make a new axe, which will be nice. Okay. We can make an axe, perfect, and then just get the rest of that chopped. Nice. Okay. I'm feeling good about that. And I can get rid of these uh, little XP guys. Alright, and then I think the other part is just going to be using this to fill up all the blocks we are picking up as we terraform. I think that will still also be very helpful. But then we have 11, we have 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And now we'll kind of get to see what this looks like fully, which is gonna be helpful. So if I free cam this. <laughs> This is one of those uh, trust the process moments. This just looks like a big pit and a calcite rectangle. And eventually we'll have a beautiful animal barn. And I really think that's the beauty of Minecraft. You can start with something like this and end up with a beautiful build, just filling in your area. But sometimes it doesn't look pretty to start, but you gotta give it time. You gotta be patient and you know, be creative with it. And you can, you can do a lot, so I think I think the next thing I want to do, now that we've got this full little block in here, we've got this all built out, I do want to have our floor be made of dirt, and we are going to use brick on the side as well as spruce. So we did collect up those spruce saplings, and we're going to use those, but since this is the height that I want to have our barn be on, I'm just gonna do two layers of dirt here just to kind of fill this in. We'll also pick up some iron. Smelting gives me XP and I don't have a solid source of XP yet, so um, sometimes we just, we get the things to give us our XP. I, I think I also want to set up just trading with Fletchers just because we have the fast leaf and tree mod where it just like chops trees so much quicker. I really, really like that we have that feature. I also want to make sure that nothing else spawns in here. And so we're going to probably just get some Fletchers and use that as our main source of just getting XP. Um, I do have all of those zombie XP spawners from the different dungeons that I've gone to on streams. And so I think one of the projects will probably be converting one of those into a, a full-on spawner, which will be interesting because I, I don't know the best way to take all of those spawners and convert it. I might just do the classic uh, you know, the spawners drop into the room and then they all get shot up in a bubble elevator. Definitely could do that approach to it. And that's probably what I'll end up doing just because that is easiest usually. So I think we'll probably just plan for that. But maybe there's some other options that just make building XP farms a lot easier that I just don't know about. 
So we'll, uh, we'll kind of just decide, but we're definitely going to get some XP farms set up soon. Cause I, I am struggling to get XP. <laughs> I really, really want to get some better XP. Oh, I have to remember I have Marsha. Was there a reason? Who was Marsha? Marsha, why did I have you? Marsha, why did I have you in uh, my little capture cell? I can't remember why we had uh, Marsha in our capture cell. I think I was going to... Oh, Marsha was our zombie villager. So whichever trade we give her, she's going to give us all of the the goods, you know, just all of the discounts. Which honestly, at this rate, I'm literally just talking about needing a, a stick trader. So maybe she'll be our stick trader. She'll give us better stick trades and all of that. That might be a poor use of a villager that has lowered their prices already. Like they have been zombified and I cured Marsha. So maybe that's like the one thing I was like, maybe we use her for some enchanted books. I really only need Unbreaking and like Proc 4. Those are the ones that I like really, really want to get that I haven't found yet. So we, we might do that. We've, we've got some options. Now, as far as how far out I want this to go, I think this is going to be a good distance. It's interesting how just quickly you can just use up all the dirt that you have. So I want to make sure that this layer will have enough stairs or just same height as our barn with our slope we're adding. So I want there to be at least three layers of dirt that are the same height as this. Because that'll just make it way easier to actually get up here. So if this is where it all is going to start, we've got this. Which actually, this wouldn't even be here. Because if this is the bottom row, this would not be here. So we're going to remove this layer, and then our floor is the... This is our floor layer. Because the build is going to be up like so. So this is the first block and second block. And we're going to have pillars up five tall. So this doesn't even need to be here. So I just placed extra dirt for no reason. But since I'm trying to terraform a lot, I'm okay with having to pick up some of our doit again. No big deal. It's just kind of relaxing to pick up a bunch of little, you know, little blocks, so I don't mind that. Okay, and then we pick up over here. I hope that whatever you are working on or doing while you're watching this, that you're having a good day, that you can enjoy some chill vibes and just hanging out with me building and exploring in our modded world. I think I've just really enjoyed having a different way of playing Minecraft. I've never done like full on modded anything before. I've played with some mods, but never like full on mods. Hey. So I hope you're enjoying this little adventure. I know I am. It's uh, it's kind of cool to have things like backpacks and just different things. Oh, also off camera, I, I got this diamond block because if you rem oh, that's that's dirt. If you remember over here, there was that kind of ominous altar type of a thing that had just zombie and skeleton heads all around the circle. There were flames coming up out of it, but I decided to fully dig out this box and there was a chest in the middle here, but to the right was a spawner and I broke the spawner so quickly I didn't even realize what kind of spawner it was. I'm assuming it was a pillager or a vindicator one because that's how I found it in a different area of our world, but there was a diamond block next to that which I remember very clearly under a different one in our world, we found a diamond block and that same kind of a spawner. So I'm guessing it would have been a pillager or a vindicator, which would have made sense because we've had a lot of pillagers just stop by our area, which is uh, not fun for me. 
I, I don't appreciate all of the pillagers and the vindicators because these pillagers freaking have axes that they throw at you and it's it's very scary so i have not been a fan of that but i'm trying to see if this is an extra one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay so this should have gone back to here like so Ooh, that goes really quick. The insta mine features on calcite, I love, but sometimes it's very tough if I'm trying to not break my walls and things. All right, so then this row is all going to be dirt. because these are the corners of our build. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Perfect, so this is gonna help me remember to leave this as our base floor. And then we're gonna have this be open here on for three sides. So this is gonna be the opening. I had in my original creative mode design plan to also have this be three wide open, but I don't think we're gonna do that just cause there's not a lot of space. But one of the features that I do wanna add is having some side pens where the animals can go outside, get some sun, or if it's raining, they can come back inside their little barn. So we'll, we'll have some options for them, but uh, we'll, we'll start with the basics and the basics is just getting dirt placed everywhere and removing removing trees that are gonna be in the way of our beautiful ideas. So I'm gonna move this one, move this one. Okay, I like how we're finally getting these little buttercups because that means that we're having the, the moo blooms around and they're just adorable. I love the moo blooms so much, they're so cute. All right, so we're getting the sacadas moved, which is wonderful. And I'm gonna move some of these ones down here, just so I like actually fully have space to kind of just imagine what this is gonna look like. And we need sacada wood for a build, so it, it all works out, you know? We get the, the wood that we need, and we get a little bit more space to visualize where exactly we're gonna be putting this. And let me just put all the sack of wood away. I have so many random things in my inventory. Like I don't need a snowball. I don't need flint. I don't need that. Um, we'll turn our twigs into sticks. And we'll leave the gunpowder because gunpowder will always be helpful for me. But the other thing we're gonna do is I'm going to get our spruce wood set up. And what I've been doing lately is literally just pillaring up and making a giant platform because I don't want the spruce to end up touching our, our nice sakura ground. So we're just gonna go like so, like this. And then we can take our bone meal and then go like so. Or this won't go. All right, noted. That's so helpful. Oh, and look at the little leaves. I love how the leaves just slowly fall like that. It's literally my favorite thing. Okay, now that that's taken care of, this should grow, yep. And I'm literally in the leaves, so that's a super fun time. And I think, some of these are taller. There we go. Ah, I love the leaves. It's so pretty when they fall. It's so cool. I literally love that we have this fast leaf decay mod and just it gets all of the blocks and it's just incredible. So if I just do one of these and we cut it down. Oh no. Can I do this? Oh no. Oh no. We're out of materials. Well, um, I'd say maybe for now we just um, make our way down. 
and call it good. We'll just land in the water, be a little safer. Now we have so many saplings, it's crazy. Look at all our saplings. Holy moly. Oh, and of course I'm a little bit soaked from jumping in a little puddle. Figures. But look at that, we got almost three stacks. That's amazing. I'm, I'm very happy about that. And then that guy is... Well, I don't know what what's happening here. Uh... That doesn't make sense, because if I would have not had enough, well, like I didn't have enough reach to take down the whole tree, I don't know why it would stay. But uh, I did also grab from this guy, I had found some sea pickles, so I grabbed some of that with my emeralds and some of this red mushroom. But I, I don't have the uh, the broken charms to then recycle those into the new ones. But this is definitely something that I want to get. The charms just seem so cool, but a lot of the ingredients you need to make them are in the nether. And the nether is still very much scary to me. So I'm uh, not super interested in uh, going there. But, you know, it's it'll be, it'll be an experience for sure when we start actually being intentional about collecting the charms. Um, I am a little nervous for that, but it'll be fine. It will be okay. We will survive, and it'll be great. Okay, I need to fix this, so we're gonna tower back up. I'm gonna take down this tree thing, too. Our monstrosa tree, basically. <laughs> it's weird how sometimes I can use the axe and it will chop down the whole tree with, like, one hit, and other times I have to do the classic Minecraft tree chopping, and it's kind of funny that it's like a mix of both sometimes. I am a little bit confused by that, but it should still be just fine. Okay, and now I I think I am just gonna tear this down. I don't need any more spruce for now, so we'll leave it temporarily. And then we'll keep working on slanting our hillside a little bit more. I think uh, that's going to make the biggest difference. Okay, so if we climb up here, this is our entrance. And I think having this be three before you have to go down a level would be helpful. Like so. Okay, there we go. And then we go like so. And then, oh, I did not want to jump down. If I come and look at this from more of a distance. Yeah, I think that's good. It will definitely be a little bit more curved and like carved into this and I need to blend this part well but I think what we'll do is we'll kind of direct the path over here so the the slant of three and the staircase is going to come over here so this will probably be a little bit more extended for a path in a gradual slope up and down and this might be a little bit more of a drop off more of a uh, one block then one block instead of three and then three so i think that's the idea is we'll kind of be intentional about directing the path over to the left a little bit closer to our barn as we kind of slant it down a bit more and i think that should look good but i do have to figure out how to make that a thing so we'll just do this for now and uh go back up there but I think this will look really good. I'm excited to have this barn here, just having more animals, just hearing more animals in the area, just always brings more life to everything and I really enjoy it. So I'm excited for it. It'll be a nice little addition to our area. I don't know if uh, making an animal barn is kind of like something that you feel is like more of a necessity for an area or if you're like, meh, if I feel like making one, I'll make one. But, uh, 
feel like for me, I find that I always want to have an animal barn in my area because if I need a pig or a sheep or a cow for any specific reason, it's just a lot easier to just have them in a, you know, more condensed spot. I, uh, I get really just disappointed in myself if I've just forgotten about making an animal barn and then all of a sudden I'm like oh yeah I need sheep for this project and I have none and if I would have just made an animal barn we could have had this and it would have been a little bit easier so then I feel like I'm always trying to remember to add a little animal barn to the area for the off chance that I'm just missing some uh, things from some animals or like if I want to make cakes or anything or the pumpkin pies i'm pretty sure you also need chicken eggs but like if i don't have that you know like i'm not gonna be able to make a cake i'm not gonna be able to make cakes I'm not gonna be able to make any of the fun little things so i think the animal barn gives me that kind of solution to the issue of different things and if i need milk if i'm dealing with like pillagers and bad omen things like that it just feels a little bit safer to just have some animals on hand, so I think it'll be great having a little animal barn. I'm excited for it. Now I need to slowly make sure I'm building this out and stretching this out. And I don't want this to be too flat over here because this field is going to probably kind of lift up as well. But I think right now this is too angled this way and I don't have as much space this direction and I want it to angle this direction. So maybe what I do is if I just end up uh, jumping down, we'll kind of just dot out where I'm going to focus it. But I feel like if I focus the slant more by this pile of rocks, that's gonna be better. Because there's a lot more space to just drag this out three layers at a time versus over here, over here. So I think that'll be the plan. So let me just jump down, actually. We'll uh, not break our ankles <laughs> in doing so. We'll, we'll come from over here. Now, this isn't gonna be exact, but I think if I just start doing this, this will be good. So we'll just go up. this and now if I just step back yeah I feel like slanting this direction is much much better yes 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 I'm I'm happy with this this will be good slant over here and slant over here and then if I just step back yeah I think if this is the slant that will be good Sometimes it's just helpful to start from the bottom and kind of just like build a little staircase up to kind of see the height that you want it to be at and what areas are going to be more like dragged out longer versus like more of like a narrow steep incline. And this will definitely be dragged out one more. But I think the rest of this will start to kind of like We'll take away this and push it down one level so this doesn't feel like it's just like a cliff side necessarily. It's still going to be kind of that way, but I don't want it to feel that way quite as much. And then this will come out here. And then we'll grab some more doit. I'm probably running out of dirt. Oh yeah, yes, this is the issue. I need to go and collect dirt but I also am going to uh, push these back because I want to have some little animal pens nearby so I think what we'll do is we'll grab some of this dirt just like that we'll use our little mining vein miner And then some of those can fit. And we are gonna have to break into this a bit more. There we 
go. Okay. You know, I'm collecting more cobble than I am collecting dirt, so this is a little problematic. There we go. We'll push this back. I am excited to see how this will turn out, though. It's always fun to see, like, the terraformed, like, before and afters of places. I think it's really fun. Okay. I've got a bunch of items in my inventory again, so we'll get rid of those. And then, oh, we've got dirt over here I couldn't pick up from before. Oh no, we definitely need all the dirt we can muster up. Okay. We'll get these all patched in, and eventually we will replace them with dirt, not just stone. Like, you have kind of a mix of stone and dirt here. guys oh that was a there was bamboo on that one that's funny okay all right um also a food oh no oh no let's go grab some food from our cow crusher that'll be good for us so we'll grab some food i literally have to walk i i am very slow right now oh no oh that's not gonna help my hunger let's just grab some hay And then we'll replant this little top field here. Then we'll go and feed our little cow friends. We'll have some food and then we can keep on adventuring and building. I'll probably need to go off somewhere and collect more dirt from a different area that's not directly by our base because it seems like trying to do my little, uh, Terraforming project is taking up a lot more dirt than I assumed it would. Which I feel like I always just assume I won't need as much dirt because you're like, oh, it's just dirt. Like, that, that's totally fine. Like, I'm not going to need a lot of it. But then you do need a lot of it. And this is kind of our makeshift uh, nether wart farm. But we can grab a bunch of the hay, feed our little cows. And then we'll go inside and smoke up all of our little foods here. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll come from behind and underneath and then we can get some more of them fed up too. Okay, now we'll put the hay away, we'll grab the food. And I've just kind of been putting all of the extra seeds and stuff in here. And we'll leave the leather in there for now. And then I can put this back over here. I'm also going to put some torches under here. I don't need mobs spawning, especially creepers. Because that would just blow up my whole uh, area. And I, I don't want that. I do not want creepers blowing up my area. So we are just going to slowly walk our way in here, cook up our food, and then we'll be on our way. Oh, I had steak in here. I'm, I'm silly. Well, we've got some extra steak. And while we're at it, I, I did have a fortune and mending pickaxe. And I've got unbreaking on this one. But I did get an unbreaking pickaxe from the villagers. But I needed to have some better levels. So we have mending fortune and unbreaking because i'm adding unbreaking onto this one now i have another pick where i have silk touch and vein mining but i need mending on this one so that was the other advancement that i wanted to add onto that one but it was a little expensive so if i take these off silk touch mending this was 10 so i want to make sure that this silk touch pick i don't break 
Now we've got this one with fortune. And this is 16 and I have 14. So maybe once our food is done smelting, we'll have enough. Yeah, it's 24 or 16. So we, uh, we definitely are going to change that out. But if I do silk touch, it's 20 to add it or 28. So we're adding that to fortune one. But now at least silk touch has mending so I can fix it up when I need to. But my diamond block, I'm very happy about it. We literally had just run out of diamonds. So now that we have nine, I, it feels good again to have at least some diamonds. But it looks like our little stake is all fixed up. And we're not gonna get to 16, but that's so uh, that's okay. That is perfectly okay. I'm just glad I have food again. Now this unbreaking pick we're gonna put back in here for now until we're able to get some of those back again. Also, this is a specific enchant that's any loot dropped from killing a mob is placed directly into a backpack, which is super cool. I think that's a great little uh, book to have in modded. I'm very happy about that. But they call it backpacked, like that's the mod is backpacked. So I'm kind of curious to look that one up. Back, oops, if I can spell backpacked. So there's backpack. Oh, there's a backpack shelf. That's adorable. Okay, so this is a different backpack. There's different mods, because I have a backpack that I can level up, so I have a like, diamond one, but I want to try this one, because this is the backpack that I have, a bejeweled one, from Imis, Inmis. So if I go I-N-M-I-S, this is the backpack mod that I started with. I made this one first, and then I've just slowly leveled it up. And I was told that the Blazing Backpack and all these other ones don't make a huge difference. So I don't think I'm going to go for them, and also I don't want to collect netherite ingots for a backpack. I'd rather put that towards some armor. But I do think that if we just type in Backpack, if I don't put too many A's in, that does help. I, I want to try making this one, so I think we're going to try this one because I'm curious to see if the size of the backpack... Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Icicles? Oh my goodness! Wait, I didn't, um, I didn't notice this was a thing. I mean, I know it's winter right now, but like... <gasps> oh, I didn't know we'd get cool icicles! I love that! Oh, they're so pretty! Can I use my silk touch on them? Let's try. I need to be careful because my silk touch pick is going to break soon. But I want to see if I can take these icicles. Yay, I can take them. Don't stab yourself with them though. That's so cool. Okay, I'm just going to sleep though in my house because it's, it's dark. I really don't like that we have uh, winter putting just snow all over the ground. I get that that's the whole idea of it being winter, but uh, I'd rather just not have a bunch of snow everywhere. I'd rather just have it be, you know, just a little chillier, but I still keep my ground, my pretty bright green grass color. But I think uh, for now, we can just leave these things in here. The frostful ones, that's cool. So it's currently winter. Spring is in 10 days, so we've, we've got some time. But let's, uh, we have a bunch of leather in here, so let's try this. Like so and like so. Okay, so we're making... Oh wait, why isn't it letting me pick it up? Hello? Do I have to like remove you? Or is that just like a glitch? Like it doesn't let me. Hello? Give me the backpack. Give me the backpack. Why isn't it letting me have the backpack? I want the backpack. Why won't you give me the backpack? I don't understand. Do I have to like not have this backpack in my inventory? Um. I think these mods are conflicting. <laughs> Cause I definitely can't just grab this. This is, I can't pick it up. And if I shift it, it just doesn't go in my inventory. Okay, well, 
Now we know. We cannot make a different type of backpack as long as we have the specific backpack mod that we currently have in this is the name of it. Oh, wait, I can have a cape. Do you see that? I can have a cape. That's cool. I want kind of want a cape. Oh, hang on. I saw the quiver. Can I like put Hang on. The quiver I just saw I can put there. So does that mean I like have a quiver by my side now? And then let's see. Do I put What does the quiver do though? Can I like I can't put arrows into it. I don't think this does anything. I'm curious to just like test these mods out. So if I put away my infinity bow and I'm using the mending one, I have 20 arrows. So I'm having 19. Are they going into the quiver? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. We're figuring this out. Maybe we're not. 20. Okay. So then I can just have stacks of arrows inside here. Okay, that's good to know. So my quiver can hold tons of arrows and it doesn't take up an inventory slot. So if I then put my mending bow back and I take my infinity one. Now I don't have arrows in my inventory. Okay, and then the quiver just keeps 20 arrows. <gasps> Neat, okay. I was curious how the, the quiver thing works. Cool, okay. I like that. Fancy, okay. And then we just got a little a little quiver by our little side there. That's kind of cute. I'm, I'm good with that. And then with our armor on, this is what it looks like. Fancy. Okay, all right, I, I like it. I'll take it, that's cool. Less uh, inventory slots taken up. We, we love that, we're a big fan of that. <laughs> okay, and then we continue with dirt. Adding dirt everywhere. And I have noticed that our little copper friend, if we look on this map again, oh no, this iron golem shouldn't be here, the silly dude. He was walking away, but our little guy, he got, um, we need to get some, let's get some wax. I think I have some honeycomb, and I think if we wax him, he gets to just stay that state. Okay, let's bring this with us. Let's try to fix our friend, and we'll put our silk touch pickaxe away. But let's see if I can fix our friend permanently, because I kind of feel bad that I keep on forgetting that, uh, he needs to get, like, axed to get waxed and you know move again so let's let's try this all right buddy hello oh i'm so sorry bud let's uh, let's get this waxed so that you can always have your button there we go wax on apply honeycomb to a copper block and then you can start moving and then can i wax you <gasps> Yay! Okay, and now you should be good for forever, which is amazing. I'm I'm glad I thought to do that, because I always felt bad for them when I uh, would forget. But now they should be good, uh, little guy. You're so cute. Yeah, your button! Oh, it's adorable. You're so cute. I'm a big fan of you. I'm glad that I don't have to feel as bad. I fixed you. I fixed the issue. And we've still got our sugar cane growing in winter, which is good. I'm literally harvesting all of the sugar cane just for the sake of these paper lanterns because I think they're adorable and I'm, I'm a huge fan, huge fan. Okay, let's go back inside, put these away and then put our honeycomb away. And then we get back on track. We, we get a little distracted every so often finding new cool things. But we got to get back on track and get some dirt placed and get this whole area kind of set up a little bit more. I also do notice that it seems at least like maybe a little bit the snow melts, but it could be wrong. 
Maybe I just didn't notice that like none of the snow really got there. But I do appreciate that the path blocks don't get snowed on, so that way if I at least continue to put that everywhere, uh, the path blocks, that will be helpful to not have this just get overrun. But if I come back up here, we're gonna follow this. So we've got three. We'll go like so. Ow, I was holding shift, I thought, but okay, fine. Fine, fine. And then oh, the next one goes here. Go like so. Oops, we want it to be this direction. And then if I come up and look from further away, I think this will be good. Terraforming is the way. It takes time, but it always looks good when you're done. You just gotta trust the process. Sometimes trust it a lot. Like, I feel like right now this is um, a lot of trust the process because I haven't even started building. I've just got a calcite rectangle and then me just adding dirt everywhere. So this is definitely a trust the process moment, but I think this will be good. It'll, it'll look lovely when we're done. I feel like most of the time my, my projects just feel like a trust the process, especially when I start working on roofs. I'm like, just just wait. It will be okay. Just just give me a second. I'll I'll show you it'll be fine. Just just hang on. Just got pummeled by a bunch of snow. <laughs> okay. So then if I look at this, we've got three blocks again. And then if I come up here. We're gonna start to angle this more. So we'll come out here. Put this back out of wood. And then come out here. This is one, two, and three. And then we'll just kind of do two. Go like so. Yeah. I think once we uh, get this first level down, I'll probably change this again. But just for a first run through, I think this will be good to just get an idea. Because like this obviously is going to come like way out to here before it's even. And I want it to be even with this ground. So... Maybe I'm just trying to like think ahead here. Maybe we move this. So if I have this come here. Trying to just make this meet up in a good way. It's not always like the easiest thing to do, but we're, we're figuring it out. And then let's do this. And if it like comes over to here a little bit more, that's okay. Oh, there's a stick there. I was like, why isn't this letting me do anything? Okay, and then... Like so. Let's get some lights back down here. I feel like I had more lights and then I got rid of them. But I definitely need more torches around here for now. I'm noticing it's pretty dark around my base. 
which is not what I want. I, I need this to be lit up. I don't want the bad guys coming around my area. Not at all. All right. Yeah, it's, it's something, all right. Um, I just want to sleep where it's a little bit safer, but it's definitely something. And we're just gonna grab some more dirt and continue working on this. But you know, for, for a starting phase one, I feel like I do things in phases too if I'm doing like terraforming. The first phase is just get the blocks down, get them laid out, and then you can kind of, once you have the base shape, then you can come back through and kind of smooth out the edges, make it kind of blend better from the edge of our field and the edge of our outpost, and it'll be good. It'll be good. I think this will be nice. Um, I'm just gonna put these, these little cherry trees upstairs, and then we will continue. Okay, so we we'll dropped off extra saplings, so we can good. We are good to go. Continue with the dirt, it's a little doit placing. Okay. You sometimes wonder, you know, it's just dirt is the simplest block, but you can use them for a lot. And I think I heard Scar mention on um. <laughs> One of his Hermitcraft episodes that his favorite block was dirt because you can use it to carve anything that you want. Kind of like what we're doing here. We're kind of carving a mountainside and using dirt to do it. And I think that's kind of why he was saying it's one of his favorite blocks, just because you can kind of use it to craft and create the type of landscape that you want. And I think that, that that that's very true. You know, it sounds kind of silly to say like, oh, my favorite block is dirt. But like, when you think about it, like if I used, I don't know, if I used like stone, this would just, I would go through pickaxes and just tools so, so quick in comparison. But like dirt, meh, it's much easier to pick up. Especially if I actually had like, like efficiency on my shovel instead of just uh, other enchants, you know, it'd be a lot easier to just go through and just clear out all of the dirt. But you know, at the same time, I feel like it might go too fast. I feel like that is the one thing about like, once you get like efficiency, like high efficiency enchants, your tools go so quick and you're kind of not ready for it and that can become problematic so i think i'm uh, i'm okay that i don't have the best of the best right now it also is like a good reminder of like where i started you know like we're starting at the beginning when there's zero efficiency tools and none of that and we're we're figuring it out you know we're, we're making do i've definitely broken quite a few iron shovels and pickaxes and axes and all of that but you know it, it all works it's all fine i'm trying to slowly curve this way we'll come around here all the way down I like how there's these little icicles. It's so cute. I don't think I get to keep them though. <gasps> Do I? They just oh, I remove this. Oh, they're just gone. Okay. Good noted. Good to know. <laughs> if I want to keep them, I do have to use my silk touch tools. using my shovel right now it's fine <laughs> once we get this all like completely terraformed out it's gonna look so much better it's just the the messy stages of figuring this out also i'm kind of i i'm just i want to see my pretty ground again give me a better view of it all there we go. I was like, I need more of the water bucket to actually spread out the water. Oops. 
Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about this. <laughs> just being able to see the ground how I want it to be, which is the the really pretty green grass that the Sakura Grove has. It's just so much easier. Especially since I'm using calcite as a building block right now, and then there's just snow everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, that actually cleared out a lot of it. That works great. Okay, sweet. I feel better about this. Even though now I'm uh, wet from using the water bucket, I think I'll just... I feel much better knowing that I can actually see. So now, if we decide to go and just take a little free cam peek... There. Look at that. So much better. I'm pretty sure I got rid of a few torches. Uh, but it's okay. We can replace them. But it's just so much easier to see where I want to place dirt when I can actually see the dirt, not just the snow on it. Because they become full snow blocks, and I know that's not the case. I know we don't actually have full snow blocks. We definitely probably have a few up there, but like, not, not where I've been placing them. I've just been placing dirt, so we needed it to be back to dirt. So... Yeah, this is looking much better. So then, this is starting to slant downwards. This is like the hardest kind of like part to curve out, smooth out, and it'll be the same thing on this side, but I feel like I'm doing a better I, on this. I'm doing better on this side because I've already kind of directed the dirt to go this way. So we're just, we just keep placing. All right, I'll, I'll use the actual shovel. Use the tools. You guys are like, you you have a shovel, you're not using your tools. You're still using your hands. <laughs> I'm kind of just used to using my hands to get all the, the blocks taken care of. I think that is one of the things that uh, I will consistently do. Or I don't feel like scrolling. <laughs> I could keybind it, you know, like definitely, definitely the option. But sometimes I just don't feel like scrolling and I just don't want to punch with my hand, you know, in the classic Minecraft ways. But it, it, it's fine, you know, we'll, we'll get the blocks moved either way. Whether I punch them with my fist or I do it some different way. I feel like just every once in a while, you know, when you just like use your fist to clear things. It can be lazy, but it's also just like... This is, this is the Minecraft way, you know? You start punching trees, you don't have anything. I still think it's funny how it's like, your character can like punch a tree, like take down an entire tree with their fist. Like, it's, it's pretty impressive, you know? <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that that's like a thing Mojang added as like a feature to the game, but also it's just like so funny. <laughs> you can punch a tree. Oh, we're already out of dirt. All right, let's see how this looks. But you can punch a tree. <laughs> Just can't uh, punch stone or anything else. Actually, this is working really well so far. I think this is going great. I, I just need more dirt. <laughs> uh, yep. Phases of just collecting dirt. And I need to smooth this out because this just looks awful as well. But now it's basically just time to go looking around for different areas I can take dirt from. I think over here, like this area right here, should be good. Oh, yep, that snows. Wondering if that was gonna happen. All the snow starts falling on me. Maybe we just stay a little bit further back. I thought I could go underneath that little edge and avoid all of the the falling snow, but I think it works best to just stand a little bit further back. We're just taking all the dirt off of this little mound and making it a stone mound all the way through.
And we are sleeping quick. I like I can see the quiver by my side now. That's kind of fun. Alright. Pick these guys up. I really like this tree. Like, they made it custom more so, but it's fun that they, like, added these into the game. I don't think there's anything under them. I think it's just, like, a cool tree. But it's kind of fun that they mix in some... the more custom looking trees. I like it a lot. Alright, let's see if this is enough dirt. We'll, we'll just see. Hi, sheepy. I'm gonna need to add you into our barn. But you can wander. You can wander for now. It's okay. You don't really have a place to go. Oh, good morning, little ant. Good morning. They're so cute. They're giant though. This is a big ant, you know? But like, they're cute. I feel like it's funny because like whenever I like say hi to them, they almost like chirp back right on like cue. I'm trying to think where else I could take some uh some dirt from. But it is kind of funny how the, the little guy is just kind of right on cue will make sounds as I'm saying hello. I think it's kinda of cute. Kind of cute and kind of fun. Why are you in blue coats? I don't like this. Um, how do I get to my house, guys? I don't. What are you? Why are you here? What are you, illagers? What? What? I, I have it. Why? Why? Give me the thing. Shh, shh. Why are you, little zombie? Oh my gosh. You're gonna give away my position. You're gonna give away my position. Shh. Go away, buddy. Ah, <gasps> they better not try to get into my house. Where's the fourth? Uh, there was four of them, wasn't there? I'm a little nervous now. There was four of them, wasn't there? Are you under my dirt piles? There was four of them. Um... What do I do? Why are they here? Hello? I don't like these guys. I don't like this. I thought there was four. Maybe my eyes are crazy, but I could have sworn there was four. Why are they here though? I don't know what to think about this. Uh, I feel like if I st Start. Like, I don't want to start a raid, but the captain one's gone. There was a captain one, so I'm not crazy. The captain one moved somewhere else? So, I'm kind of trying to figure out if, like, these guys... So, I know there's, like, illusioners, and if the main guy moves on, these guys will also move. Um, I don't want to deal with them though, but I don't have the captain guy anymore, which is at least good. I have villagers that have trades now, so I would start a raid in my area if I accidentally kill the guy. So I need to be very careful. <laughs> to not do that and I don't want to get closer I don't know what these guys are about I'm nervous about this guys uh I have a shield but like I don't want to take you on it doesn't seem like you're moving though you're interrupting my project sirs 
they're like faces have like blue they're literally just like camping out my space excuse me can you like not camp out my space <laughs> where did your fourth one go that's what i'm curious for where did the fourth one go I don't like the sounds of this. Okay. Alright. Should we try to shoot them? I think I'm far enough away where they're not gonna be able to get me. Or see me. Bruh, you wanna just leave? I think the arrows don't alert them, you know? I, I have infinity. Ooh, okay. I hit one. Okay, still three. Oh, no. oh boy, they coming. Okay. Oh, they're like one hit. Okay. This, I, I thought they were scarier than they were. Okay. I'm just gonna go here. Hi, dude. This is my base. Not yours. Okay? Just let me just scrub a arrow here. There, you shook you free. You wanna just come up here? Or are you just gonna peek over the corner? That works too. I can still get you. I didn't know you could have illager ones. That's terrifying. And they don't even drop anything. See, okay. I think the blue ones... I don't see any more on my map. I think I'm okay. But uh, the, the blue ones, I think, are more so the like the ice villagers or something like that i've been like trying to learn some parts of the mod pack <laughs> all the different things but uh i'm pretty sure that's one of them i'm glad i wasn't down here when they spawned because i feel like they spawned like inside this area here and they can't get in here so they can't get to my little buddy which is good my buddy is safe. My favorite little dude. It would be interesting if they could like take uh, animals from areas. Like mechanics like that would make the game super interesting because then it's kind of like, cause there's a raid, right? Like they attack, oops. But it would be more interesting if they could also like take animals or different things. Because then you'd be more inclined to create more defenses for your animals and like your pens. Like me creating an animal barn to just hold all of them would make even more sense if if they could take them straight up. Like it's just, it would be kind of interesting. But I guess like you could kind of just like create that as your own story. You know, like you don't necessarily need them to say like, oh, they're going to take your animals. Like you better, uh, you better create some shelter for them but it would kind of be cool fe a cool feature that would be that would be interesting and like i know they can you know the raids can hurt your villagers so it's like you're inclined to at least keep the the villagers boxed into their houses so they can't open doors and like let them in because that that that's a thing too <laughs> Is the villagers are just like, oh, what's out here? Oh, sudden death. Lovely. Um, I'm just gonna go for a stroll outside despite this. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, Alright, I feel like this side is getting pretty much all terraformed out. Which is nice. Can I, like, right-click this? No, I literally just have to put this in the crafting slots. All right. Hmm. 
Now this is pretty star stark, I would say. I keep I kept using the word stark in my last video, and I was like, do I wanna? I feel like I'm using that word a ton. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny to use that word a lot. I feel like it works so like a high contrast. That's what I was at least imagining when I was using the word. Okay. Now we're kind of like smoothing out some of these edges. So, and then I feel like if I just start like this, I still can't believe those. I should have looked at what they were. I didn't look in the top left at their names. I was just like, get rid of them. I also didn't get close enough. I just stayed at a distance because I, I didn't trust <laughs> what they were. Because there's definitely illusioners in this game and it is a bit scary to come across them because they blind you so that like you can't see where they are and then they can just hit you. <laughs> So I'm like kind of nervous that they could do similar things. So I wasn't a big fan of just, you know, letting them stick around too long. I was like, we're just gonna, you know, nope. We're just gonna say nope and then get rid of you. Don't want you in my area. It is interesting how now I at least know there's like different types of pillagers that will go patrolling. I think that is an interesting, interesting thing to be aware of now. Like now we have to, now we have to be careful for multiple types of villager patrols. Goodness gracious. I was just stressing with those ones that had the axes that they just throw at you. But now we're getting multiple types. Oh yeah, yep modded minecraft you just you learn new things all the time and sometimes it's a bit scary and i'm also out of dirt again which this is this is the story of my life but i think this is you know it's coming along better it's crazy how just like a little bit ago none of this mound was here you know it was just completely flat and now it's got some shape to it now the other thing I want to make today is there is a chipped workbench that's more of like a glass blower, and I think yes this one so I want to make this one so we'll need some wood that's stripped it looks like well it actually looks like any type of log works brick crafting table a blast furnace iron and glass so this is the little guy we're gonna make because then we can use all these different types of modded glass and I think they're super pretty. If I can spell glass correctly, that does help. But look at these, they're so nice. And there's an arched one that I think will be really pretty to use. So I'm excited for that. But there's literally like just so many kinds of glass and a lot of these ones are the ones with the chipped mod that we can use so we're gonna kind of just use some of these default panes and i think they'll be very very nice but this arched one arch leaded one is what i'm thinking we'll use because the the bottom panes will kind of just look like this but the top one literally like creates an arch but it's just at the top one so it does fit very well that they call it arched so I think this will look really pretty, but I, yeah, I was messing around with some of the blocks in creative that you can use the glass blower with, and I think it'll be lovely. Now I'm kind of just thinking, what if, 
I just scoop dirt out from here. I feel like we're just making my my mound underneath even more hollowed out, but at the same time, you know, no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. Kind of reminds me of like that meme or that kind of voiceover thing, like no one's gonna know. That's been uh, popular before. I feel like this is just a good place to take our dirt from, you know? You create the mountain, and from under the mountain, you continue creating more of the mountain. It's a little poetic, right? It works. I also just don't want to keep traveling very far away. So this, this works for that, too. Makes it a little easier to not have to travel as far. And as long as we've got torches, I, I'm, I am okay doing this. I just, I just don't always want to go running around for it. So this works for now. Okay. Now I need to slowly get this. to curve up and around. Okay. And then we'll put this in our offhand. This is just like so difficult to kind of curve. So maybe this has to come down a little bit more than I was doing. And maybe it's okay that some of these are like too, you know, like that's not the end of the world if it's just too high like this. There we go. And then I think once we get this first layer done, so as soon as the barn is actually up, I think it'll be easier for me to just see where things are at. So I'm not going to get too caught up in getting this perfected. I think just the second pass is good enough for now. And the rest of it, I kind of just want to see once we actually get the, the barn built and placed, I want to see how this looks from there. Like, do we feel like we need to shape this more? Does this seem like it's okay? Even though there's kind of just some areas that are a lot more just straight down on the sides. Because this is kind of in like a valley more or less now. I'm kind of like creating my own valleys. But I think that's okay as long as we like the shape that we have. But I fully covered over the mound now, so I think what I want to do is I do want to start just like working on the actual barn so our little animals can have a nice little cozy spot. So that's what I want to do next. And I will be using granite and brick for the base, so I do need to go and grab some more of that because I don't think I brought any over. But as far as our entrance, we are gonna kind of like come up this path where this is, right in this middle here. And it'll kind of just meet up with where I have the path from the windmill and then just meet up to the rest of our paths. It's kind of the idea that I have. But I think for now we can just leave this. We'll, we'll do some more dirt terraforming later, but let's get ourselves a crafting table out. And then I need to figure out how to make the, uh, the chipped one. So let's pull the chipped mod back up. The glass blower, blast furnace, glass, iron, crafting table, and a brick. My, my very small amount of dirt left over. Now, 
We can make a crafting table and logs. So I sp oh, I think it has to be an oak one. I think that's so interesting. Like this is literally, it's made me just craft an oak one for it before. So I think I'm just gonna not take my chances and just uh, use an oak one to begin with. So I need four logs. So we can grab four logs. We have a piece of iron. We can grab a piece of glass from inside. And then I also need my, my brick and my granite, so this works out. Now, I think I had a blast furnace, but I might have already put it away. So we'll just make a new one. So we definitely have the cobble for it. So we can make a furnace. I think, what's the blast furnace? Is it smooth stone? Let's do this. Okay, smooth stone and iron. Do I have smooth stone? Oh, I do look at that. One, two, and three. And then we need a lot more iron. So we go like so. Was it just a cross? Or was it like so? Oh, it was across the top. Okay, so you fully put it up across the top. Now we need some glass. And then what else did we need? Do I have everything now? What am I missing? I think I have, oh, the brick. Brick is what I needed. I was gonna say, I think I'm close. Brick, yay. Okay, now we should have enough. Oh, I'm missing the oak. Okay, we get oak. We get the oak. Okay, now I feel like a gyp. There's so many steps sometimes. It's kind of funny. All right, glass blower. Yes. Okay, this is good. This is very good because now I can make these regular glass panes look really pretty, and I'm happy about that. So we'll get our special little arched one and this will be nice arched lead panes okay so that's one of the things that i needed to craft so we can put the the stone back we will take our granite and our bricks with us though and we'll take these and i think the rest of the bricks i left downstairs then we can have some more bricks besides these ones. And then we have granite. This should be enough for now. Oh, it is definitely night out. We're gonna snooze. We're going to snooze. We've been going for over an hour so that if uh, you guys need to take a break, you know, get up and stretch. This is your little reminder to go do that if you need to. Get some water, some snacks. If you're working on projects, make sure to take breaks for your brain. And then I also need to make sure I take breaks. But this is just your reminder. All right, so I'll set up the glass blower here for now. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay. So we're looking for the panes. Look, look at this, there's so many glass blocks. So pretty. And what's cool is like, I can literally take plain glass and then get colored glass. Like that to me is just the coolest thing. But we're gonna take our arched one. And I think I can create panes from this. I just don't remember how. How do you make gla the glass pane versions? Is it just, you just put them together? Hello? Hmm? Mm, mm, hello? I don't remember. <laughs> Is it nine? Do you do we fully? How do we do that? Excuse me? Oh, 
on the top. What? But, but why? <laughs> oh, I bet I know. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's try this. Pains. We try it this way. Ah. Okay. I was like, hello. I I've made you before. <laughs> why isn't it working? All right. All right. All right. We, we we figured it out. I don't know. Yep. In my mind, I'm like, you need to have the full blocks to make the panes because we go from this. Like, I thought you needed to lay these out, but okay. that works too. That's fine. That's fine. Also, I'm pretty sure soap will take the colored glass and then scrub the color off and give us a plain, which is also really interesting. How do you make soap? Ash? A pork chop? Hello? <laughs> Soap with pork and ash and water. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Also, soap blocks. Those look cool. But that that works. Okay. Um, did not expect that to be the case, but sure. Why not? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to be the, uh, the block. All right. But now we've got this more smoothed out. We'll do a little bit more later on. But for now, we're just gonna start working on our actual build, which is the, the fun part of it all. And then I'm gonna come back through and texture after the fact, but we're just gonna go up one, two, three, four, five. And then We're gonna have this be like so. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to have stripped spruce. We'll leave those things in there for now. And the iron can go back in my inventory, in my backpack. But we're going to do the same kind of spruce pillars like we usually do on the sides here, kind of like that. But we're going to put two on either side like this one. So they're going to be like so. And then the same thing over here, they're going to be like so. And then we will strip these down. And they're going to be the same height that we go up here. I just got to pick up these blocks. And then this is where we're going to be placing in our our glass. But I'm also going to be kind of angling it so then it's gonna look like so there little opening and then um, looks like we're gonna need to go get more story of my life always need more okay, we got some extra blocks coming back though so it works out and then we'll go like so I think I want to have just this be there but we'll grab those and then We'll grab the brick back and we'll go up. This is one, two, three, four, five. And then back up like so. Now this isn't, I'm looking at the different like glass styles and there's a different arched glass pane that I liked. And we might try to go find it again because I really liked how it looked and it was more of like a different style glass pane, but it was arched. So I think it's interesting that there's like several arched ones. But they're all so pretty. I think it's so cool that we have all these different variants. I love it so much. But we might look for some other ones. So maybe I'll try to remember which one it was. 
but even these like i think even these are really pretty this doesn't look as much like a barn but it is kind of fun it's like fully clear you know like we can just we can peek out and there we are we're just peeking just out the window <laughs> kind of fun Honestly, these would be super nice for my house to just not have to deal with the illagers coming around and just being able to like see exactly where they are. That part would be great. All right, we have one, two, and I'll put these in my offhand because we're gonna strip them all the way. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We'll come down here. One, two, three, four, five. And we can run our way across. And we're gonna have some slabs and some stairs kind of like making an archway. And then we are going to put these ones right in the front here. Except I need to be above this. One, two, three, four, five. And right here. One, two, three, four, five. That's the, the start of the barn pillars. Now, as far as how this looks, I might tweak this a little bit. Because right now, the, the opening that we have is three, but in I think I want to make this wider. Which means I have to move the glass. <laughs> so we're, we're bringing out the silk touch for this. And that way it'll be safer. And then we just move it over once like this. And then we can place these back down. And place this down. Because then instead of being three wide, we'll have it be five. And I think it'll look just more open more like a barn. I feel like the one of the keys to making a barn look like a barn is to just make sure that you have it very open for your entrance so that all of your animals can get in and out. It just makes it easier for like foot traffic, all of that. So we're just opening this up a little bit more and I think I'm gonna like that more. will actually pull out and then I'll use the silk touch again actually I could just leave this here because I want there to be a little stair right here but I could just leave that like so that could work. We're moving this because, you know, the glass. But just placing a simple little stair a little further over could just do exactly what we need it to. And move our pillars over. And I need to sleep because it is getting nighttime. I'm literally just still so paranoid. I can't believe it was like. Isologers, or whatever those little dudes were. Not what I expected. <laughs> the, the things in, in modded are kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is good. Now, if we put these back. Then... like so and then like so put this there get this arched yeah, 
once we finish this. I think that'll look good. I'm gonna just, ooh, there's another stack in my inventory. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change out the, the glass type because even though it's a modded glass, you can't really tell much of that. Like, you can't really tell. You can tell a little bit, but it's such a large arched pane that you, it's mostly just clear. Like this doesn't have anything in it, and this does, and they look pretty similar. So I'm gonna look at different types of glass and we'll we'll do that a little bit later so i think this is not the kind of glass i want to use but we'll find a different one but for now we're just gonna go and try to finish this out as much as we can i'm not gonna get too far just start the outline and the other thing that is going to be a little different is even though we do have the front being more like granite and materials like such, we're not going to have this entire thing be fully just granite on the sides. We're going to be using a lot more of just the, the, the fences. So if I have fences, I just want to make sure. Okay, fences is the planks are on the outside. So I'll go like so, and then put the, the sticks in. So here's the idea that I have. Most of this is going to be Sakura on the sides. So then we can go like so. We can go like so, and like so. Now... I'm trying to remember what I decided to do. I think I had three here. And then we had one, two, three. And then the next group. Like so. And then one, two, three. And the next group. One, two, three. And the next group. And then we're kind of just going to do it like this. Or we can just have... We'll put fence gates in there as well. One, two, three. But then we'll have some bigger pens down at the back here. I love that these angle. Literally one of my favorite things. Just so nice. Okay. We could just keep a bigger pen. Like, I feel like even trying to have, hmm, like a line in between these two pens is a little too much. So what if I just did this? So we have the fence gates. We'll just grab up these blocks while we can. Because this feels like it's not even enough for the animals, but I'm going to have the outside fences fenced in areas as well, so there's going to be a little bit of both. But this isn't all going to be, That's that was my, my whole point, was to say like this isn't going to be all brick, only the corners are going to be brick and granite, so I don't need to have like a ton of granite. I just need to remember that this is the the extent of where the brick goes to so it's not like the whole thing just some of the bits will be just a few of them not all of them i have to move my silk touch so i don't keep using it by accident because i'd be a little sad if all of a sudden i just break my my silk touch that would not be good but that's kind of the idea so just a little bit more fleshed out and then we can we'll put this back in our offhand and then we can get this up one two three four five and we've got 
that done, which is great. Now, this will get completed on the sides here. So we can just fill that in. Perfect. And now we're going to need to get more granite. I'm pretty sure. And then on the sides, we're going to have some pillars. But we're going to actually change what our stripped logs look like. I just want to get these basic ones in place. But this is what we're going to do. So if I take this pillar right here and take it to our carpenter's workbench we're going to use some reinforced ones and one that kind of just like slightly changes the texture as well which i think it looks really cool so i i like that i am remembering to use these hi buddy are you enjoying using your little button so if i take these stripped ones and find a reinforced we're going to use one reinforced and then these other ones are kind of it was chipped, I believe. Some knotted, there's some letters. Chipped. So this is what we wanted on the rest of them, was this chipped one. So then I can show you how it's going to look. And I think it's cool. Just gives it a little bit more texture versus just a regular spruce log, which I think looks really great. So if I go like so, that's going to be the base across all of these. So on all the sides of the barn, we're going to use the reinforced. And then if I just put up these chipped ones and show you, see how it just slightly changes the texture? But the one annoying thing is I also decided that I wanted to use the ones also in the chipped mod because watch this. If I put this one, this is the regular just stripped spruce. Look at it. Why? Why does it have two different colors, you know? Look at that. That's also why I had to kind of flip flop them. So super fun. But you know what? It, it, it works. It's fine. But that's uh, what we're going to use for the outer edges of all of the beams and I think it looks really cool so that's that's always fun and then the top of the barn area is going to be calcite and then we're going to edge it in the with the socket of wood and that's kind of the plan so you know me and my roofs I'm not the greatest at them so we're going to start working on the roof a lot of times I feel like it's just easier for me to start on the roof earlier on versus later just so that i feel like i'm making more headway on actually making you know the roof get all put together and it's not taking me the entire time we've got extra time i'm not feeling rushed if i just do it now so we're going to start with this okay now this is going to start if we have one two three four five i'm gonna make a note that the calcite starts at the top of the fifth and i also feel like using calcite as a pillaring block because they are very easy to break is gonna be the play as well so we're gonna jump up here and then go like so then we'll just leave this here and then the slabs are gonna be where we start for edge and everything I don't need the shovel up here but I will take my food back and then this will go here and we're gonna use a lot of stairs so we're gonna have this be here So we're gonna go like this. Stairs are gonna be used here. But then we're just gonna have like this. Two, three, upside down. And then we're gonna start using the slabs. Okay, don't worry. 
you where are you placing hello hello where are you placing you're a ghost block what the heck <laughs> that that was i'm confused just confused that's that's the only words i have for that moment okay i placed three blocks and they just became ghost blocks that is the one thing like, where did they go? <laughs> Don't even see them anymore. Like, what is that? <laughs> Silly. To me, it's just kind of like a goofy glitch. Because I literally have no idea where else they would go. Okay, literally, it's doing it again. Okay, I'm, I'm just hopping down. Now we'll try the other side. We have one, two, three, and we have that, and then we do slabs the rest of the way. And then that's the barn shape. And then this will be filled in with calcite. We're going to add in a trim of the sakura to the outside. And I might actually bring this one more block out. Wait, that, that's probably what we're going to do. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do it this way. Luckily, it's a little bit easier once I started placing blocks, especially for these uh, silly little slab guys being all goofy about placement. That's the one thing, you know, you gotta be very particular. Because this is the this is the issue you get. <laughs> I just don't want to place characters. It's, it's annoying, but at the same time, it's like, I I can be happy about some uh, some slabs, some vertical slabs. People have talked about those for a long time. I can be happy that uh, we have them, even if they're a little goofy sometimes. It's still fun to have the option, you know? Gotta, gotta be happy about the things we get while we have them. Okay, so that is the trim for the barn. Now this will be filled in with spruce. And that's gonna be the main filler block we use. So I do need to make a bunch of spruce. So I might go do that next. That pistol block doesn't need to be there. And that block doesn't need to be there either. And I can just remove these ones because we're not using the sakura for the roof fill. So we'll just take those down. And I can just climb my way up here to get the rest. And then we'll hop down to get blocks picked up but first we that we can just bridge this along the entire length and we'll stop here for now just because I need to make sure I can uh, get everything else figured out now, what we're gonna do next is grab some of our roof filler. We also have our calcite here. I 
I also decided I want the the glass panes to be white. So that's another choice that I'm kind of just like been thinking of while we're placing blocks. So we can uh, swap those out. Because now if I take the just regular glass panes. I think I have to dye them first. I might have to confirm that. If I have to dye them first, then I just wasted some panes of glass. But it's okay. We're, you know, we're still figuring it out. But let's, let's get some other spruce slabs and stairs made. And that way we can fill in the roof nicely. Just like so. Is it sleepy time? No, okay. Now the other thing I want to have on the sides here is we're actually, I'm changing my mind kind of, but we're going to have this be another pillar that's stripped spruce, like so. So that's gonna kind of be like three on the corners. And then the the fences would kind of just like hook out from this outside edge into the center. I feel like I should be able to sleep on now. But it's just dark from it's snowing and raining somewhere. Oh and look, we're getting icicles. That's kind of cute. I like it. I think the icicles are kind of like a fun little touch. I like it. So then this is what the outside little pen would be. You just get some extra, extra kind of walking around room. It's nice. And I'm deciding that instead of the brick being here, we're going to use the pillars here. Those stripped ones that I was talking about. So I'm just going to lay those out properly right now. And then over here, we're doing the same thing. I'm moving Silk Touch so that I don't keep playing with it. Then we'd have this. And one there. We'll put these in our offhand. This will be a little easier to deal with. Like so. Like so. And then, I mean, these are we kind of have to trim this back a little bit to make the room for it. So we can do that real quick. Scoop some more sand and, well not sand, dirt. We always are needing the dirt. So I will gladly scoop dirt out of my way to make room for something else. Makes it a little easier for me later. Cause we're basically just like, putting this into the side of the mountain and I want to also make sure that we like make it look, look nicer and it might not be like a today thing but it will be a thing either way now uh, we're gonna have the brick be here so then these would be here So they would be going in the corners. So kind of like this. Like so. The boars always sound like they're aggroed. <laughs> kind of stresses me out. I immediately was like, where is it? Is it gonna hurt me? And it, they're not gonna hurt me, but they just sound so aggro that it's just scary to me and it freaks me out every time. It's, ugh. it's funny, but it's not. So you just gotta take it as it comes. It is cool that we're getting these icicles, but uh, I don't think I want them to stay there. So we'll have to do something about that. But for now, it's okay. Okay, so, so far, We've got our barn. We're gonna add our shape here, which will be good. It'll look very pretty. And then we'll need a lot more. We're gonna need so many just slabs in the Sakura because we're using that for our roof trim and everything. So 
that's definitely a block that we need a ton of. I also just feel like it's so dark that I should be able to sleep. Seems a little surprising I can't sleep quite yet, honestly. Alright, so then we put that there. Literally. Just let me place the blocks over. Hello? Alright. Just losing all these blocks and I don't know when they're gonna show up. I feel like if I relog, they'll show up. Maybe. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't understand. It's so confusing. Bruh. Bruh. Where are you? Hello? <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Gosh. So so silly. And so annoying. It's just goofy. Oh my. Okay, it's fine. I'm fine. It's, uh, we'll just sleep it off. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, that, that's a good time. Yep. Yeah, so, so much fun. Love that for us. Okay. Now. We've got... It's when, and we'll do every other. So this is kind of the idea. Like so. Yeah. It's just, I just see all the icicles and think it's kind of funny. Beep. We just hop down here. I'm gonna relog and have so many random <laughs> silly little things. That'll be interesting. Okay. Now for the bottom ones. Nope. Um, excuse me, little icicle. You need to leave. Thank you. I couldn't tell if the snow was melting or if I had a creeper coming up behind me. Spooked me out a little bit there, I do have to admit. Excuse me, icicles. Because I did let it get a little bit of nighttime, which is always a little concerning. Alright, now I need to fix this top row, because I wanted the corners to have the this half slab added, but now these, these, these match, and we can't have them match. They need to be every other. So like that, oops. Just jump up. Go there. Fixing the every other issue. We'll come over here. Come on, there we go. We're getting her figured out slowly but surely. And now we go there, and that one would go there. Now, there is our roof, and I think it looks nice. And I might actually move my calcite forward. I feel like that makes the most sense. Okay. Yeah. We'll move that forward. Just like so. And then we're gonna have a five wide space in this middle here. So if this 
we go like this, too high. And then we move this back because we don't need all of this extra calcite. Just enough to make it work. But then we want this to be five. So we'll go like so. We have three, four, five. Then we can go like so and like so. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this will be the window where we put in our glass. So that'll be good. And then I think this is good for now. I think we're gonna jump down and keep working on the trim of the roof so if i come out here yeah i'm liking how that looks so then we need a lot more of the the stairs and i did add a bunch of spruce i'll probably add some more while i'm up here i should just have an extra crafting table on on hand at all times for moments like this when I just need to make sure I have extra stairs. We've got extra slabs, so we should be good. Okay, let's just try this. Alright, and then I don't need this slab, I just want the stairs. So then we'll go like so and bring it all the way down until we hit the tree. And um, let's just chop that down like so. Yeah. A little bit easier. Okay. And then we continue on foot, finishing out the roof edge. And I'm already out. <laughs> Literally, some of these blocks just take up so much. So much. Okay. Get that picked back up. Oops, not too far. There we go. Perfect. I think we're pretty much at the end. Maybe one out, two out, like so. That's good. And then we're gonna have the slabs back out here too. So if we go like so, and then two, three, and then go. Swap out those. Oh no, please don't disappear on me again. Where are you? Bruh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want my blocks. What is happening? Don't understand. Why does it do this? Why? Ay -ay -ay. Okay. I think I fix. I think it, it's good. <laughs> gosh. So strange. Alright. back two three and then we switch to slabs the roof shape is happening it's can I throw these oh I can throw rocks that's kind of funny dangerous don't throw rocks guys <laughs> oh no not again hello kitty kitty Right. 
three open ones. Oh, so then this is supposed to be like so. Hi, board. You like the little spot so far? You like the, the animal barn? Bruh, the boars give you mad side eye. Do you notice this? Look at that side eye. Oh my gosh, that is a sassy little boar. <laughs> what on earth? That's so funny. I never noticed that before, but that's actually just. I love that so much. That's hilarious. Okay, well, we're starting to get the roof figured out. Now, the other part of doing the roof is I'm going to be doing a mix of the stairs and slabs that kind of like match how the roof trim looks. But we're also going to place it with some full blocks in there that are stripped and things. So that's going to kind of change the look of it a little bit. But we're going to do this. So there's going to be three. We'll do two blocks of just regular stairs and then we'll switch that to be slabs if if I place the blocks right we will have we will have slabs <laughs> eventually <laughs> I feel like depending on which half slab segment it's on it is also changing it which makes it more tricky like this one I think I need to place it on the bottom yeah, and then these are the stairs. There we go. All the way across. Oops, not upside down. snooze okay and then as far as the roof like the top of the roof we're also going to be using some of our little sakana slabs so if i just find the exact middle like right here we're just gonna like put this across it real quick just so i kind of like have this in place Oh my goodness, I'm losing so many of these blocks just by randomly getting them placed and I don't know where they go, it's so weird to me. They're just like ghost blocks for forever, like, I may move on, I may leave my area, <laughs> but the ghost blocks will be there. <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay, so then I also am going to swap out this for a full block. Actually, let's just do that for all of these. The full block will be a little bit easier. And then it actually gives me like a roof topper kind of a trim a little bit easier. So we're going to remove those. Add full blocks. Perfect. And my axe is definitely on the out. Then So every other, like we've done for other kind of like rooftop segments, we're doing that same type of a thing. And then, corn like so, 
and like so. So now, when we look further away, it's got a little bit more of a unique and kind of more just dynamic roof trim, I would say. I think just adding in that as like a simple topper to things can really make a difference in your area. So if you're trying to figure out ways to make your roofs look better, just like adding toppers like this, like you could use chains, if you have lots of anvils, you could use anvils across the top, but just add something like every other or just like scattered across the entire top that I think I at least really like adding little top bits like that. I think that really adds a lot to the top of a roof and especially the little corner bits, just like placing the upside down stair and then the right side up one facing inwards. And it just it adds a little something. I think I always try to add a little bit something like that on the roofs because sometimes roofs can just feel so plain, but adding little things like that can just help make it feel a little bit, a little bit more. Look at this guy. Oh, and this is where we start using the slabs. So on this side, we've got the slabs, but here we need to use stairs. And I need to make a lot more. So I'm out. Oops, I'll just do this. And then grab more stairs. We'll see if this is enough. We'll, we'll just see. Oh, I should also grab all of the socket up wood before it's gone. You know how sad it would be if I just like forgot and just like watched all of my sakura wood just like despawn after I was collecting it earlier? That would be a true tragedy. Alright, and I think if I just kind of start climbing up the mountainside now, I don't even need to use my calcite pillars. I literally can just climb to the top. Yeah, look at that. So nice. So helpful. I'm trying to be like quick, but I also need to make sure I don't like misplace because I don't exactly have a lot of durability left on my poor little shovel. Oh, I left some on the, the fence. Man. I also think I said shovel when I meant my little axe. Okay, now we just add the top. I actually had enough, so I'm just gonna remove this. And now we add in flaps. I think it's coming along really nicely. Look at this, oh, it's so exciting. I love to see it actually like taking shape and it's gonna look so lovely next to our little windmill. And then we'll have some little pasture spots on this side and a little bit over here too. Lots of terraforming to do, but I think it's looking really nice over here. And let's see, can we like see? Look at that, there it is. It's all coming together. You can see the fences underneath it, which is kind of funny, but I think it's coming along so nicely. Ugh, it makes me so happy. So, so happy. Thank you. 
I feel like I'm so used to not having vertical slabs that now that I have them, I'm like not paying enough attention to the side that I'm adding the block onto and it's just giving me horizontal or vertical slabs when I'm just not used to it. And then it's making me like misplace blocks. Ugh. Oh, and there he goes. Good thing I got a backup. Okay, oops. Nope. Oh. I thought I had it. There we go. Okay, I was like, hello? Okay. So, we've got some more slabs. So, we'll go... them all the way across. There we go. And same heat with these ones. There we go. And we hop on down so I can pick up all my blocks. Getting them all. Move that out of the way. I mean, I'm gonna put some more torches in here. Just in case. I feel like this is getting kind of dark, so I don't want any anything coming out after me. that I'm not gonna have snow on the roof anymore, pretty much. I got that figured out. It's always fun when I'm nearby like a cave or somewhere, you can always just kind of hear some echoing from the caves and it is kind of cool. I think it's fun. That up. There we go. Okay. It already looks so much better just not having the snow on the ground. Like it. And now let's take a snooze. I'm a little bit wet from using the water bucket, but it's okay. Alright. I have a little latte by my side, so I've been taking some sips while we've been working on this. It's always nice to have a cozy drink by your side when you're working on stuff. And then just snowballs. Pew. Get rid of those. We can put our bucket back for now. It's also so funny to me, you can throw the stones too. Oh. It's kind of cool. Kind of fun. Little random things that just make it kind of cool. Alrighty, I needed more slabs. Offhand. Coming up here. And finishing the roof. Let's 
See, as soon as I try to go a little bit faster, it just doesn't work. I end up missing the blocks that I need to not miss. Look at that, we've got a roof on the barn. Now, the the main things is just to uh, add in the little spots for the animals. We got to get the reinforced versions of these guys. So uh, let's, uh, let's swap these out. And I will be putting dirt back down here. So we'll put dirt in our offhand, because we're kind of just going to use that to fill in this. So these sides. And then which one is vein miner? This one. So we'll do vein mining for coal. And pick these up. And then fill that in. slight echo you can hear just over here. I just love it. It's so fun. It's the little details in my mind. So we're just gonna get those pressed out. Okay, so we've gotten this sorted. Now, what I need the most of is I don't need any more of the, the slabs or spruce stairs. So I'm just gonna remove those. The next thing we're gonna need the most of, I don't need this flint either. Now we'll need more spruce logs to finish out our pillars. So let's just get those in place first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. This one's on the inside, like so. One, two, three. 
five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's all of them. So then we're going to fully pick these up. And we'll put a little placeholder, so I just remember. And then we're going to make some reinforced and some chipped ones. We're going to bring all of these logs over to the chipped workbench. They just needed to be stripped ahead of time for them to work properly. collected All right, we've got all the blocks. I don't think I left any. Oh, never mind. There we go. I was like, there might be some that I leave behind by accident. So I gotta check. But we're grabbing the chipped stripped and the reinforced stripped. So those are the ones we're gonna use. So let's just pop on over here. I also don't need to keep cow set in my inventory. Oh, and I need to count. Um, let's quickly count how many. We'll, we'll need for these. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So sixteen reinforced should be enough. And then we can make the rest with the chipped ones. Let's see if that would be right. Oh, hello. I did not mean to place the block there. Okay. Place these in. And then the rest of these are the chipped. So I'm curious just to start with this and see. I still love how our little copper golem has not figured out a way to get back down the ladder. I think that's really kind of cute that they're kind of just like there, you know, guarding it for us for forever now. I love that. So there was three on the sides. I forgot about this, I think. So that one goes there, that one goes there, that goes there. And then those go there, and that goes there. Right there, right there, and here. Oh, I was one short! Oh no, we were so close. Okay, well, I've got these chipped ones, so let's just finish these once I take a snooze. And I can kind of figure out how many I have left to grab. Okay. So then we've got... And if I take some calcite to kind of be the, the side... So, like that. Some of these 
these will be a little bit easier to fit down here. Like so. And then... This is one, two, three, four, and five. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five. Need something else. We'll have two. So I need five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. But we don't need these bottom ones. So then 27, 26. 25, 24, 23, 22. All right, let's try 22 more of these. And I think that should be the, the exact number we need. I'm assuming so. But let's, let's take some munching, some snacking. See if that's correct. I need to, oh, I just need to keep it. <laughs> uh, that's always the funny part when you're like holding blocks in your hand, then trying to like click to open something. All right, so I think 22 should be enough. But I'll make 24 just in case. Now we try this. See if this worked for us. Trying to like not accidentally place a block again, which would be kind of funny. Oh yeah, it's kind of fun to just start walking up and see the skyline changed now when we have our barn. Love that. All right, let's start back where we started. So we have one there. One, two, three, four, and five. And then if I put my calcite back. One, two, three, four. And the cow search. One, two, three, four. Five. There. And I had extra an extra two. Beautiful. Look at that. Liking how that's turning out. And then we do have this sack of wood, which we can use as kind of like a roof under trim. And we can put that there. And then we'll put this here, like so. Not that we're like really gonna need them to be here, but just in case. I'm gonna just add those in on the sides there. Oh, I forgot this entire thing. I didn't even count it. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, we just didn't count. <laughs> uh, okay, make sure that's the only one I missed. Uh, it's a bummer, but also kind of funny. I think that's the only one I was missing. So we go do that. Look at that. Nice little house. Nice little house for our little animals. Come on along. Hello, buddy. Okay. This should be good. I could bring all the workbenches up to our area, but I do kind of like keeping them in the gazebo because it does force me to have to 
go back and forth to different areas of our base, and I really like that idea. Okay, sweet. That is taken care of. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do on this inside was make it a very open concept roof. Now, what my thought was is we will just take all of the little spruce stairs and we're gonna we're gonna kind of round out the roof on the inside and then place some beams across so uh, i know i said i don't think i'd need more spruce but we definitely will need more spruce like a lot more spruce um and i just realized i forgot about this pillar altogether just spaced yeah um Totally just forgot. Yep. So, uh, that's good. We have four. We just need a fifth. Like so. Now we'll go put that one together. It's funny how you just think you, like, completed a task while you can be so blind to a part of it. Until you're like, oh. I see. I missed this, like, ages ago. And then the chipped. Alright, so now we should be good. We should have all our things for this one. And then we have to make a ton more spruce stairs is mostly what this roof is going to be, so I don't need like a whole lot of other things. Just a whole lot of spruce stairs. Alright, and then we might need to raise these up by one, but I think I'm going to start just creating more stairs and seeing where that gets us. So we've got eight. Now I don't need a lot of the roof trim right now, so I'm just going to put this back temporarily. I also don't need all of these snowballs, so we'll put those away. And then... I feel like I should just take all of the wood, just in case. And then we can make a full... deck there. We got some extras. We're, we're doing good. Now, we're gonna go here. And let's see, where should this come in? I also want this to be curved and arced, so let's just quickly do this. We're doing one, two, three, and then the arc. Like so. And then we're doing kind of like a slab arch. So like so. I can put those back now. So there is an arch here. Love it. Okay. Now, as far as where we want this to start... Let me... Uh, let me look. Okay, we need more of these. I think I'm just gonna make a bunch of extra slabs as well. Okay, now, as far as where we're starting this on the inside, we're going to run this right along the beams that we're going to add in here. So we've got some spruce, and this was the idea. So we're going to have the beams run like so, across the length of this first bit. And we're adding beams at all of these cross sections. So there'll be a beam here. 
Maybe I shouldn't have added all this fence work quite yet. It's gonna kind of get in the way of me making these beams look good. There we go. And that's a beam. And I just need one more beam, but I won't have enough wood to finish this last one, I'm pretty sure. Because I only have five logs. Also, it is dark again, so we have to sleep. And then where the beams are is where we're also going to be starting this. So it's gonna, if I can get this to face the correct directions. That's how it's gonna start. Just like this. In between these th sections. Like so. And then... We're gonna have a dropped section of trim that will kind of cover up this gap here. But the outside is gonna look like that. And then we'll just put this here. If I can get this to be spaced correctly. Like that. Alright, perfect. And I don't think I have any more spruce, just regular logs. Did I take them all? I did, yes. But we have to grow another tree. But we'll do that later. That is a future red problem. For now, we, we continue on with our plan of the roof. So then we have a block here, and then this would come across. So if we come across here, this will just make it easier for me to like do the full length without needing to stop and reset all right good and then over here oh see look now it just it appears excuse me where did you come from i don't understand why Okay, whatever. It's it's fine. It's just little quirks. We'll we'll find all these other slabs as we go, guaranteed. It just seems like that's the the nature of this current setup. Just kind of silly, but what do you do? Right? All right, and then I need to hop up here again. So... 
Okay, I think I need to grab another bit of spruce. So we're gonna go chop down another big tree, but I think this is looking really nice. Just like having this kind of just arched with the beams, I feel like also makes it really look like it's an animal barn. Just uh, don't, don't mind the, the calcite bridging. If we take this away, then we'll be able to see the full effect of how it looks like a barn right now. And I think this is great. Yeah, literally just adding cross beams just adds so much to making it look more like a barn. It's literally crazy, but we're going to need some dirt. So we're going to just grab this. We'll grab a lot of sappings and we'll grab some of those. Now, I don't feel like I need to go as far, so I'm just going to pull up right here. And I just need to be high enough so none of that podzol tries to get in my cozy little cute area. And then go like so. And then I'm pretty sure I need to like chop way up here. Or not. We need to get even higher. Maybe I have to chop this whole tree down. Oh no, we're out. Okay, let's grab some iron. One, two, and three. And then we're going to grab an axe, make that again, and I should be able to chop the tree soon. Please, please be soon. Or not soon at all. I don't think it's soon at all. I think we're just stuck chopping down the whole tree. Can I please use the special chop? No, no special chop at all. How tall is this tree? Oh, it should have definitely let me. Okay, I, yeah, okay. This is where we're reduced to normal chopping, which, you know, that's, that's fine. It's nostalgic at this point, right? It's in modded, it's nostalgic to chop down your whole tree without having to get the special little features. It's just, it's nice, yeah. Definitely doesn't take up more time. Definitely not. Okay, I'm curious to hear from you guys on this. So this like fast tree chop mod is absolutely wonderful. And I'm kind of thinking for my future like let's play content and different videos, adding in that mod. But that mod also feels a lot less like vanilla Minecraft, obviously. So I feel like some people might be annoyed by that. That might be something that frustrates people. It's like, okay, you're not really playing vanilla if you just keep adding all these things. So I'm curious to hear from you guys what you'd think if I started using that mod, because frankly, it's just very convenient. So I'm curious what you guys think. Okay, oops. All right, so now we... Oh, another thing I want to grab is I want to see about white dye. And I guess I could have just turned this into it. So let's just try this. I was about to go grab more bone meal, but this should be okay. But we'll grab all of our wood so that we have the beams and the rest of our ceiling on the inside. So we go like so. Nice. Okay. Ugh, I love how this is looking. But I'm curious. So if I take my glass and I th think it goes like so. <gasps> Wait, we can make an aquarium. Cute. Hang on. Okay. If I do eight like so in the glass blower. I'm trying to think which one I chose. Was it tiled? Vertical? Maybe it was the vertical? Hmm. Mm hmm. But I think I remember if I do 16, I needed to be like so. Circular, large, square, vertical, fancy, arched. So let me try this. Is it a nighttime already? Oh, it is. Okay, that's good to know. 
I'm glad I thought to check to sleep. Okay. There we go. That's how I wanted it to be. Okay, so this is the arched white stained glass pane pillar. <laughs> Very long phrases. <laughs> but it, it makes it look good. Okay, so vertical. We want the arched white this one okay yay okay this is what i wanted guys so look at that i think that looks really pretty it gives me kind of like a church stained glass vibes you know like those giant ones with the really pretty stained glass but i think it's cool so we're just uh we're gonna use it and i, I put this on the wrong side it was supposed to go there did I put this in the wrong side too? I think I did. Well, I think it looks fine. Or maybe we do push it back. Let's, let's push it back. Oh, wait. Uh, where's my... Silk touch pick? Did I? Oh gosh, I got scared. I'm like, did I break it? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'd be so sad if I broke it because literally earlier I was just like, guys, I need to be very careful. Like, I can't break my silk touch pick. And, and then I go and break it. Uh, that, that would be a bummer. That would be very sad. Okay, so I don't think I like it set back so far. So I do think we're going to keep it here. Just like so. But I don't like how this is set so far back. Like, I like having it even with the brick more so. So we kind of have two sets of panes is what we got going on here. But I think this looks way better. And then what we're going to do is that same kind of glass for the top. I need to remember to eat. I keep running out of food or like hunger and then just like not eating. I wonder if I can do this. Can I die you? Um, how about that? Oh, good. Uh, okay, I can do it that way. That's, that's actually super helpful. All right, and then arched white stained pillar. And should be enough. Let's fill this in. And then, like so. Okay, and then if I show you this, look at that. I think that's pretty. And then we'll add lanterns on the outside. It'll look so lovely. But that was the idea that I had for the glass. I, I really like that, so I'm, I'm happy that we actually have that working in it now. And then we need to finish our roof here. Now, a lot of this is gonna start to transition to mostly slabs, so I'm not gonna need as many stairs as I started with. So we're gonna go like so. And like so. And then... We do have two more that we can place there. So I think that's the last one, is right here. Like so. And then this is the top, just like that. And I think that looks really good. And I'm gonna carry this a little bit further out, actually, I've decided. We'll just carry this to this side all the way. Like so. And like so as well. Oops, don't need that there. And I need to make sure I go and get my pickaxes all cleaned up because I don't exactly have a lot of uh, durability left on some of these. More stairs. Like so. And I know for a fact, I need to do the same thing on the other side. So we're just going to quick hop our way over. And 
the same kind of setup that we have on this side with the glass and everything I'm gonna do on this other side but we probably won't have it look exactly the same I think my thought is that this will be the back wall where there's gonna be a little bit of storage it's still gonna mostly be just space for the animals and things but we'll have a little bit more storage on the back since my original plan of having two entrances isn't gonna really do that good since we're literally building into the side of the wall so we're kind of pivoting the plan but sometimes as you build you're kind of like oh yeah this looks great like often i'll be in creative and be like oh in survival in my world this isn't gonna look the same but that's okay you know you can you can roll with the punches and uh, change it a little bit and it'll still look good which is what we're gonna do Literally hollowing this roof it makes it look so much better. I love it. So much better. Okay. If you hear some beeping, I have a coffee pot going in the background, so you can ignore coffee pot sounds. But I got my, my coffee next to me and some more brewing, so gotta love that for us. Okay, so now if I get rid of my little calcite, you can kind of see what we got going on now we've got the full beams supporting our animal barn and i think it looks really good i'm a fan i love it so now next thing we need to do is we're going to kind of start adding in some of these actual fences now that i've kind of already set up where we're gonna have them be so we're gonna have fences right here and right there and this is going to come out just a little bit and then we're going to just pull it down this way and like that and that's going to kind of be the fences we're going to have a lot of fence gates as well i want the fence gates to kind of be the whole front side if i'm being honest I think that will look much better, easier to move animals in and out if I need to. Of course, I don't technically like have to move them in and out because I've got my special little capture cells, which are always great. Very helpful, very useful. Then we've got sticks, we've got fence gates. So we'll add in those in the front. So we'll just start doing that. I feel like if I just put those in now, I'll have a lot more space to add in fence gates further down here. So we can go like fence gates, like so. Like so. This would not be a fence gate. And then the brick. So this is where we're going to have these fences, like so. I also need to start getting a bunch of lanterns in here just to add some light, but we'll just put some lights on these beams for now. Now as far as this area, we're going to have the stained glass be here. So we'll need to make more. We're gonna copy the same kind of like setup that we got. And we're gonna just do this. Go like so. I'm just trying to grab the calcite that fell. Or needs to fall, I should say, that like fell onto the beams. Okay, so we've got that going for us. And then I think I'm going to change what this upstairs area looks like too. So above the beams, we can kind of have this be the Sakura wood.
like so. I think it'll add a little bit of warmth up here. And then I'm thinking since this is like hay lofty vibes, there's not a lot of hay loft space, but we can just add a little bit. So after the beam, we just go up a little bit. So we'll go like so. And then we'll take this down. And go like so. Oak and it is dark, so let's take a little snooze. And whenever we sleep, it always gives me a chance to take a sip of my little, my little coffee drink. Alright, so we've got this going for us. And we can kind of just push this across the whole way. This does not need to be here, exactly. We can hop up here and put that there. Okay, so then the calcite is gonna be even with this. And then you can just jump up the side here. It's a lot easier when you're building it's tall enough and it's nearby some other things where then you can just uh, start placing it. So we've got our calcite. Like so. And let me see, I, I made this even with these beams. The calcite is even with the beams. Which this is true. This is even with our beams. But then the the trim needs to be popped one out. So that's what's gonna like look a little weird right now, is I don't have the trim. Once the trim's in place, it'll look much better because this is trim, right? Then it doesn't look as weird having this here, and then this just gets bumped out. Right? And then the calcite looks totally fine and, like, normal. And if this is bumped out, then this wouldn't even need to be here. And then we just have the, the five space. We have one, two, three, four, five. So then these are the only ones that really have the calcite. And then we have this be calcite as well. And then... We're gonna grab the rest of our slabs, which I think I have more slabs in our chests, so I'm not gonna quite just totally make new ones if I already have some. Try to use our resources sparingly. And then let's put the, we need the granite here. We can put the solid spruce back, we'll put those back, but these... We'll put our pickaxe back in here, more for safekeeping. Put that there, and then we should have enough. We'll take the granite back to just fill in the space at least. Because then, if we look how we did it over here, this front bit has this dinner even with the beams. So it would be like so. And it would be like so. And then like so. Oh. And like so. Then the other thing I need to consider is like we're also going to be putting Like, this is where we're gonna have some granite. So this is also where we're gonna have some granite. And then we're putting in another stripped oak beam. Right in here. Right there. 
like so to fill in the space and then we're gonna have this be arced again as well so we'll put that in real quick And then we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, because there's two. And then two of them are going to be the reinforced ones, and the others are the chipped ones. Perfect. Okay. We go and we make these look nicer. Uh, where are they in my inventory? Oh my gosh, I didn't strip them. I'm silly. I'm a silly goose. Goodness. Okay, okay. All right, all right. This all makes sense now. Goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was literally like, uh, hello? I should have blocks? What is happening? I don't know if you guys do that or if that's just a me thing, but I feel like I'll I'll do that at times where I just kind of think that I'm getting the blocks to be how I want them to be, but I just just caught them up exactly how I had them before. All right, we've got those two, and then we've got the chipped at the top for the rest. Perfect. All right. Now we can do those beans. I really like how our barn is uh, coming along. Once the lanterns are in place too, and we actually have the animals, it's gonna look so good. Was this chipped? Oh, it was chipped. Okay, I was like, oh no, I'm, I already missed. I'm missing Oh, Okay, so we have one, two, three, and on the fourth one is where we added this. One, two, and three. And the fourth one. And then we need to get some solid blocks like that. And then we're gonna need to go and find ourselves some slabs again. Perfect. Then we have these guys going like so, and then there's that one. And then we just fill those in like so. So then we have the beam like this. Oh, whoops, this is even on the granite. That is my bad. I was like, this doesn't look right. This isn't looking how my other one looks. It's because it's not. Okay, so then here, we've got we've got all of that collected up now, which is good. Now, we go one, two, three, it's the fourth one. Two, three on the fourth one. And then these ones, these ones. That, that's better, much better. That actually like fits well. And then all I need is a block and a slab. So I just need a little bit more. But I don't think I have them. So then we, we go exploring. Let's see if I put any in here by chance. I know I started collecting some like stones and materials in here, but I can't remember what I started doing. 
I think I have a section that has a little bit of granite in it. Dirt. This is also why I wanted the strip cave. A strip mine cave. A little, a little mining entrance. Just so I can find exactly the layers I'm looking for. Aha! Like this. We have a little granite section. Look at that. It's so helpful. And then I'll just place a torch there. But then we have diorite too. But look at that. Just just got enough. More than enough. And it's, it's wonderful. Now I could also go down to the deep dark level and use my fortune or my silk hoe to get some more just levels for things. I think the levels is something that I'm... Whoa. Oh, a view? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. What is, what is this? But we could get more levels just so that my tools don't break on me. But I think for now we should be okay. If I go like so and... I need to kind of swap out some of these if this is the case. And then we can go like so. There we go. Okay. Nice. So now we have our arches. Looking great. And then... We'll have stained glass go here and here. And then we'll put that here. Stained glass on the sides. There we go. Nice. Alright, we'll take a little snooze. And I'm noticing all of these different blocks up here. We're gonna grab these. Like so. Alright, it is coming together. I'm happy with it. We just need a little more space for the animal pens. So, lots more pens, and then we will need the fence and gate, which that's that's a little bit different because we need a lot more sticks for that one. I feel like. Let me go like so. All right. Now we can add some more fence and gates. And then fences. Because then their pens are pretty big. If we fill this in, it's not gonna look as unkept for them. Like so. Take my little spoon. fill this in with the dirt we just collected. Yeah, it's coming up good. I'm getting to be very happy with how this is looking. 
We've got lots of fence gates. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more fence gates. And a lot more fences. here. I feel like having two it should be good because this is the size of their pen. I feel like that's pretty good and like some of these are much larger so our larger animals like our cows and our sheep we can put in these side ones that are bigger and our pigs and then we can have like chickens here and I also want to get ducks. I thought that would be kind of fun. So we'll add those in. But I need at least nine. Nine fence gates. Oh, I could have been using bamboo this whole time for the sticks. Forgot about those guys in here. And then... Beautiful. And then we need the rest... ...to be... ...like so. go on the outside to make the fences. Ooh, no. Like so. There we go. I was like, wait, I'm making more fence gates. I just got so used to making fence gates. <laughs> Alright. Fence gates completed. All the way across. And then, like so. Oh, we definitely need dirt, because otherwise my little creatures are gonna just jump right out of here. <laughs> they will see the freedom and take it. but we can just manually move back. I don't need an entire section clear just because of vein miner. I just want a little bit more carved. Just a wee bit. And then we can add this in here. Oops. in here and then I just need a little bit more and then we've got all the the fencing sections ready for our animals and we can just turn these into sticks too and then we need more sakura so we'll just grab this transform that put those here okay perfect that should be enough for us Now, when we look further away, we've got some fences for the animals. They can be wandering inside or outside, and I think this looks really, really nice. Now, I don't want any bad guys coming in through this back area. 
So in my mind, we're just going to curve this like so. I love that you can curve these, by the way. But I think just to make sure that nothing else tries to get in, I will leave it this way. Just because I don't want to deal with the skinny guys. And then I do need this like so. And then, oh, we are going to make white first, white to die. Put that in the middle. And then we go like so, make some panes, get those in there, I don't need any of the brick and stuff, and then the glass we make into the arched pillar. Actually, we don't need this, so we're just gonna we're gonna space it save real quick. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll put that back in. Then one, two, three. One, two, and three. Alright, and then when we look back, there we go, and then we just add in this top bit. And I'm pretty sure I'll need more. I think I need like 10, but we'll see. Oh, did that actually work? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I need more than just this. I think I need one right there. And we do, we are going to be switching out the trim. So the roof trim was the other thing. The roof trim on the back side, that's what we needed to fix. Which we'll remove all of this, remove those. We'll need the stairs and slabs for Sakura. And then we can go fix that real quick. Well, okay, we just yeeted into a hole that I didn't realize was there. Love that for us. Nice. Okay. Take a nap on that fall, that note. Okay. Now we fix the roof. And we're showing one more over. And we're like so. here. And then, like so. This one is gonna have... Two slabs like that on the side. Like so. Yeah. 
Yeah, then you can kind of see where we need to add some blocks, remove some blocks. So now what we're gonna do is hop up here. And grab these. Same on the other side. Do a little bit of fix. the roof so if we look further away the roof looks a lot better more even the trim is gonna be better so now we can just add in this and we'll go back through and grab the, the glass that we need for this whole thing it's kind of interesting because like now I can jump in here I can try to and then we can sneak oh I can't even sneak I was just trying to grab that block. I was like, we can just grab it and we're good. Let's see over here. So this is where we're adding in the, the calcite. So then we can just put that there. And we'll put some right in here like so. And that can get covered in. And this can get covered. And this can also get covered. There we go. Okay, so now that is fully fixed and it looks much better, I will say. Now we just add in the details. So this is the middle. So we intentionally put one right here, here, and there. Like so, and then we go underneath. We can grab some of those quickly. corners and then every other and then another thing to just make the sides of your builds on your roofs look a little bit better is just to add some slabs on these edges or you could also add some like stairs like so and that kind of creates like a nice little trim line that's more decorative so there's definitely options if you're ever just like looking for ideas of what could make it look a little bit better. I'd say that's uh, one of the things you could try, see what you think of it. And then we'll do that on the other side of the roof. And then we do need to fix this inside layer so it doesn't look so funky. So we will go ahead and fix that too. So the roof is fixed on the exterior, which is good. And then we just need to collect up extra pieces. Okay, so this is looking good so far. I'm very happy with it. And then next, I think we could start just um, doing a little bit more decorating with some hay bales. Let's put these away for now. We do need more glass, so I do need to make sure we get that done. 
I think I just needed two panes, so let's see what these do. I think these might be the last two pieces that I need, which actually works out really, really well that I don't need to like go make a whole nother set of eight or anything. We just got what we needed. There we go, look at that. Perfect, that's awesome. That was literally what I was missing, so that's always nice. Okay. Next. Put the wood away. All right, so the next thing I could do is we could grab all of our lanterns. I feel like that's also a good option. We have some iron that we can use for that. So I think let's make some lanterns. So I've got iron here. And then I think it's just like so. One right here, one right there, right here. I realize I never finished putting the the trim on the front. Kind of surprising. There's just like one more piece, but I was still just like kind of confused that I forgot that. And then uh, I like the idea of having these on the sides and that way even with the glass we can kind of look through and see a little bit of the glow. So we'll put those here. And then we don't need these torches anymore like this. We can go out on the other side and just add some lanterns there as well. And let's do one there and one here. I'm okay that these look a little different because you're not going to really notice the back, but I'm still going to add some detail to the back, but this front area is mainly what I'm going to pay the most attention to right now. And then I did want to kind of path block this as much as possible, make it look nicer in here. Scoop up all the snow as well. Sleep, so let's take a little snooze quickly. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll add some pathing in where our animals are going to be, so it looks like it's more worn, like the animals have been there for a while, just enjoying their space. We're gonna mix in some coarse dirt as well, but I did just want to get some of this in first. So I feel like the, the yellow tones with this always make it look really nice. It just gives more of a warm barn feel for just like ground texture, I would say. So I think that's one of the reasons I like the path block so much. There we go, and the last two. The other thing I need to think about is making sure that no animals can get into my pens. I think that would be the one thing I want to avoid happening. I don't need little dudes coming into here. I have specific animals in mind. I don't want like creepers in my animal barn just like chilling <laughs> amongst my sheep or anything. Can you imagine? That would be so scary. Okay, and then uh, 
The other thing uh, that we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, leaves. So before we add the animals, I think one of the last touches are leaves. And then I do also want to just texture this a little bit more. Also, I just noticed you can see into this cave. And I'm a little bit concerned. Something will just come out of this little spot here. Silver harvest. Okay, I do have torches down there. Okay, I was like, um, this is a bit scary to not have anything. Okay, never mind. There's like one thing, so that's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. No, I don't want snowballs, so we'll just toss them. Hee <laughs> hee. Now we need leaves, but part of me is kind of thinking that it'll be more fun to just go find some more of our animal friends. So I might do that. We do have Marsha. So Marsha is our villager, might be our Fletcher. We'll see what I feel like doing with Marsha. But I think what I want to do is let's go check first to see if we have enough azalea leaves because that's the leaf type I want to use. I also just realized I left open my door. No one, no one came in. Okay, we're good. We're safe. <laughs> I don't need to stress. So we don't have a lot of azalea, but we also have some of the uh, little shrubs, the little bushes, and we're going to have some spore blossoms. Now this is kind of getting more into a little bit of decorating for it, and uh, so that's more so the fun part, because we've pretty much got all of the critters. Uh, little spaces all ready to go. So we've got 19 bone meal. I think I'm going to get some more bone blocks and put those in there. And then the other thing I wanted to add in here was getting some hay bales, which I think we just have to harvest our field for those. I think that's probably going to be the easiest. But we'll, we'll add our spore blossom for the particles that we love so much. I love how the, the Sakura Grove just has cherry blossom petals like as a default in here. But it just makes it so much more fun to just have all the different kinds of kind of spore blossom particle effects happening. And I think I need to go up one, so like so. And then come all the way down. And then we'll go like so. There we go, look at that. Oh, that already adds so much. Already loving that so much. I like it. All right, and then we'll add some glow berries to things. Cause that always adds just the best vibes. And then we'll put some right there. And I think I'm gonna also add some to the exterior a little bit. So that'll be pretty. That'll look great. And then we just want to light these up. I really like making any of my builds very like overgrown. I feel like that just always looks so nice. So I, I love adding me some glow berries. I think they're just lovely. So we will be adding the glow berries. And I don't want to eat the glow berries. So we got to make sure we eat our steak. And this also just adds to the exterior. It just gives us some more lighting. So I don't need to be as concerned about any mobs stopping by or anything, just cause it's already kind of taken care of. So that always feels good. And I will probably need to make sure I uh, shear some of these so that they don't end up being long enough that our mobs can get out of their little, little pens. You know, we want them to stay in our area and stay safe. But now let's uh, let's add these guys in here. You can tell I was like using this row right here to kind of uh, get them all figured out. And then we'll just take these. I was using this little area here to kind of just harvest some leaves. Literally though, I think Azalea is my favorite leaf type. I'm really glad Mojang decided to make these so that they don't change depending on the biome you're in. I think that's my favorite feature of Azalea is just, I will always get this pretty green color. No matter the biome, I can put this in the nether and it won't wilt. 
the end can have them, just everywhere can just keep the same leaf type. Literally the best. Okay, and then we've got all of our leaves. This should be enough, I would say. Oh, there we go. I was like, why isn't this actually like working how it normally does? And then we've got sugar cane to grab. Or we got a little grass. Okay. Now we put our sugar cane away. And then we've got, we've got all of our, we need some more lanterns actually. I was just thinking about this. We have lanterns on the trim's edge, but I also wanted to have some on the sides by the, the stained glass. So I think this should be good. Maybe we'll add a little bit more. Like so. And then wrap this all the way around. Oops, I need a torch, not a, not a lantern. Imagine if you could like make a larger tor like a larger lantern just by again taking the lantern and placing it in the middle of more of the little iron nuggets. That'd be kind of cool, right? But five should be enough. So if I just put these guys back, that should be plenty. And then we'll use our calcite to kind of pillar wrap again. I'm feeling good about this. It's gonna be so cute, so pretty. Okay, and then we've got this. So let's do two here, one here, and then we'll put do these edges work. Yeah, that just can go right there. And that should be good. So then we just come on down all the way. And then let's take a look. Ooh, I like it. So if we take that away, so we've got lanterns, we've got glow berries on it. Oh, I think that's so cute. I'm loving it so far. We're just gonna add leaves and then texture the roof and then add our animals. But I kind of want to just like go grab some animals. So I feel like while we're kind of doing some building, it's kind of fun to just go adventuring for a little bit. I feel like that just uh, makes it more enjoyable. So I know that I had seen sheep around here. So let's at least go grab two sheepies and bring over some sheepies. I know I was just seeing one earlier over here. Oh, there you are. You're just blending in. Hello. Oop. Hello, aunt. Hello, guy. Hello. How's it going? And then there's a sheep over here, too. That's my sheepies. Thank you. I grabbed you. Now, welcome to your new little house. Literally, these capture cells are my favorite thing. They make it so much easier. I also feel like I'm kind of playing like Pokemon, and I'm, I'm here for it. So let's see. Let's have some sheep be in the front here. So we've got sheep one and sheep two. Welcome, guys. You're in your new little cage. Well, animal barn. And now even just having like two animals just already is so much better. So, so much better. Now I see on the map, there's some of these guys. These are ducks. So I kind of want to go get some duck friends. I think that would be fun. I think that's an ant. But we'll, we'll grab some chickens and some ducks next, and they can have the smaller of the two little sections of things. So let's see. Oh, there's a chicken. Maybe we'll grab the chickens next. I'm also gonna sleep up here before things get too crazy. Hi, chicken. Can I just take you? Hi, cheeky. Thank you, chicken. Let's find another chicken now. Or maybe we'll find some eggs. Maybe that's probably the better thing to do. All right, so... Oh, and look at our area from up here, even. That's so pretty. Oh, I love that. All right, so I know I'm by... I have... Okay, there's the chicken. I know there's some ducks nearby, but I was hoping I could find another chicken. <gasps> Ooh, that's a duck, right? Yeah, you're a duck. I was like, chicken. Duck. We've got ducks and chickens, and these can both lay eggs, so that's another reason why. Oh, 
Okay, so I know to come over to this side of the, the birch to get more duckies. That is, that's my note to self of where to grab them from. And I do also like the idea of having my moo blooms being in our little place. I think that would be very fun. Having our cute little moo blooms in there. And then we've got duck. And then we'll leave duck in there. Stay duck, stay in your new little spot. And then the chicken was in this one. So we've got chicken. Here we go. And they can't get out, so that's good. I'm gonna go grab some more ducks. And I'm also... I thought I um, put some nether ward back there, but maybe I didn't. And then we're just gonna collect some wheat and seeds so that we can use some hay bales to kind of create more of that barn feel. The classic. Alright, so... Those are all mature, so let's just start adding these in here. And hopefully once this is all planted, it'll just grow back pretty quick so it looks pretty again by our windmill. I think that's the one thing I'm like, oh, this is like my aesthetic field. Do I just like make a different farm somewhere else for like my non-aesthetic field? Like, it's tempting for sure. But it also sounds funny to have like an, as an aesthetic little, little crop field, you know? Okay. It's... I think this should be enough. How do I make these? Okay. This takes a little bit of time. But I think six should be good. Also, I've had this up here since I had the villagers in here, so I'm just gonna grab these. I don't really need that little oak trapdoor there. Or the cherry, what I should say. And we'll put the seeds there. Now, we've got hay bales, which is good. Hay bales will make it look all cute. Fitting the vibes. Now, I don't want the, the sheep getting out. But I do want them to have some hay bales, so we're gonna kind of play it a little cheeky, put them right in here. I feel like that's probably the best place. And then I want to also have... I'm not gonna have a lot of storage up here by any means, but I think just having some up here is good. And then, say, we just change these to some chests. And then we can have some barrels as well. And then we can go like so. Are the barrels? How do you put the barrels? Are the barrels like so? Okay. I'm learning how to use the crafting recipes without this little side panel. And I know it's over here, but this just feels like so much more daunting. <laughs> I'd rather just use the little one because it's not overwhelming me. <laughs> The, that's the main reason if you're ever like, why aren't you just using the giant thing next to you? Well, it's, it's because it's giant. <laughs> that, that is the main reason. <laughs> yeah, see, just like a little bit of storage up there I think looks really nice. So we'll do the same thing over here. Not a whole lot, just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'll probably add some more, uh, I like the idea of having the hay bales up here too. I think that looks much better. Okay, so we've got this in play, which is good. Uh, I do remember that on these outer edges, I didn't put the, uh, I didn't fill that in. So we're gonna go do that around here. Just so it looks a little bit better. And this requires me to not have stairs there. And then same over here, remove the stair, put the slab. Here. 
Perfect. Okay, and then... Oh, hey! Llamas! Oh, I can have llamas, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wait! A vermilion? Oh, that's fun. I mean, I already have them. I'm curious. If you're on a lead, can I... Oh, I, I don't... I don't get the leads, do I? And then what if I... Oh, it puts you back on the lead. What if... What if I just... I'm sorry, Lloyd. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lloyd. <laughs> I want your llamas to be in my farm. In my little thing. Okay. Now the question is, will these llamas be upset at me? We are testing things for science. That's what we're doing. Okay. Are you an upset llama? <gasps> oh, I don't I don't get leads. So the leads were lost. I got two emeralds and that was it. But they're not upset at me. <gasps> Wait. Oh my gosh, I get the leads. Oh my gosh, and they're not upset at me. Oh, that's so nice. Hi guys. Hello. Maybe I combine the ducks and the chickens into one. Maybe I do it that way. Hi duck. Hello, bud. Excuse me. I, excuse me. And then I, I have to ride these ones for them to like me and stay here. So we're gonna keep doing this until they love me. <gasps> Yay! And then I can put carpets on them. Okay, you need to be my friend now. Be my friend till the end of time. Please? Please be my friend. <gasps> Yay! Okay, look at that. All right, so we can get carpets. So literally, we can just go over to our little f our sheepy friend right here, and then we'll just get some wool. Oh, literally got two wool, one from each of you. Oh, also, I'm sorry. You definitely. Hey, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I know you want grass. I'm about to give you grass. So calm down. Shift. Is there something in here? Oh, there's a duck in there. I was like, why aren't you going? There. There. Yeah, stay here. I'm sorry. I will get you more grass. I, I, I deeply apologize, okay? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, you thought you'd be sneaky, didn't you? Alright, I'm just gonna give you all the grass. You guys deserve all the grass. Let's be real. We'll just have maybe like a little bit of this on the inside still stay paved. Kind of like they're out here in the pasture and then they come in here to kind of just like wait to be like fed or different things oh look and now you don't even need to stay in the the like rain you can just enjoy being in here but i think there's the duck in there there's our duck friend and we've got an egg so let's see oh i'm sorry i didn't think you'd run into me i'm sorry little duck i'm sorry oh you have two hearts and you have two hearts oh <gasps> wait does it tell you how soon Next egg is in 245 seconds. It tells you when you're gonna have a child. That's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, that's crazy actually. Wait, does this show when they're gonna like regrow their like wool? No, but that would be cool though. Those would be fun little features, right? Okay, so look at this. We've got llamas, a duck, we've got sheep. We, we got, we've got some friends. This is great. Okay, now I want dyed collars, so we're gonna go find some fun colors for our llamas so that they match our area. Can I sleep yet? No, okay. I'm just gonna like keep on trying to sleep. All right, I do need more wool than just what we currently have. I know that for a fact. Now, colors for our friends. I feel like I want a yellow one. And let's do a purple one. So we'll do purple. Or magenta. We'll do magenta. And then we need two. Oh, I was supposed to take more than that, just what I did. Okay. Okay. We're we're getting it. We're, we're doing it. 
We got this. I believe in us. We can do it. Oh, I thought I could just click on them and they would just go into the slots. Guess not. Alright, got that. I wonder what things I'm like unlocking when it keeps on dinging like that. Can I sleep? I can't sleep. We haven't slept in our like actual bed in a bit, which is kind of fun. Alright. Now let's go put some carpet on some llamas. Oh, and look at the little rainbow. That's so pretty. I love all the particles in our area because we add the spore blossoms. Ugh, I just I just can't get over it. It's just so beautiful. So, so pretty. Okay. Hi, llama friends. <gasps> there you go. You're yellow. I love that for ya. And then a pink one. Look at you. You're so adorable. Oh, I love it so much. I also love how this one has kind of like earrings. Yeah, look at that. Earrings. So adorable. Now, if I look at our map, they changed colors too. Oh, I love that. <gasps> Welcome our new friends. Oh, I love it. Cute. I love it. Well, that kind of worked out. We, uh, <laughs> we got some friends even when we weren't expecting them. Now, I know I have Moo Blooms around here, and that's kind of the next thing I want to grab. I want to find our Moo Bloom friend. They kind of just wander everywhere, but I see them on the map, so that's what I'm kind of following. Hi, you. Hello, my friend. Moo Bloom one. And the other one is down. There you are. I see your legs. <laughs> just sneaking around. Now, I do want to have Moo Blooms just like running around my area. I think that would be very cute, but for now, we can just keep them in our animal barn to keep them safe. And then we shall add some more elsewhere, and then they can roam free again. We'll probably just breed more of them up. But for now, I think we'll just have them be in our animal barn. And then we just need to find pigs and then get extra cows. Which I know I have that whole thing. That's sheep. Let's see. There's yellow here, so maybe we put the moo blooms right here. Moo bloom one, moo bloom two. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. I love it so much. They're so adorable. And then if I have bees around here, oh, then I can have like a little beehive in here, and then they just kind of will like. Go over to the flowers that are on top of the moo blooms. I think that's great. I love that. And I thought I had bred up a third one, but I don't see them anywhere. I remember breeding up a little baby. And I don't see them anywhere. So unless they like super wandered off, uh, I, I don't know where they would have gone, which is a little bit sad. Oh wait, look, way over here. What on earth? You you traveled, my friend. You were you were traveling. My goodness. Now here's one thing I'm curious about. I have my cow crusher. We've got all of our little uh, cows in there. I'm curious if I would be able to grab some cows from the cow crusher without breaking it. So this is the this is the test. Do I end up accidentally breaking it, or does this work? So if I just go yoink and yoink, oh, look at that, okay. So then all I need to do is breed these up and then the like entity cramming thing shouldn't, yeah, it should work just the same as it used to. So that works, that works just fine. No, no issues. It's all working how we want it to and we get cows. I also like how I can kind of just like use the, the cow crusher to also grab milk. Like whenever we need milk for, if we decide to do some baking, you know, we, we got some. Hi cows, look at your free, isn't that nice? You've got space, you've got an outdoor pen you can walk into, you can have a good old time. Now we just need pigs. So pigs is the last one we need to find. But it's just kind of fun to have some animals in here already, even if we're not like done done. 
but look at this. Our our barn has little animals, and it's so cute. I love having the moo blooms. Definitely my favorite. Just just a tad biased towards the little friends, but it's okay. We can be biased towards the cuteness. I'm cool with that. And then I'll put these ones away. Marsha's still in here. I, I still have to figure out what I want Marsha to be. But then we'll start using our, our shears and start kind of adding in some greenery to the outside of this. We'll start up here. Oh, that was a lantern. Okay, we we put we put back. <laughs> we put it back. I I will put back. I forgot that there's lanterns on some of these. Oh, did it just go away completely? Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay. We we put it back. I take it all back. All right. over and then maybe we put a, yeah, a little flowery one there and then I can come down here further and then we go like so like so and then we kind of look that over I feel like there should be something right in there so we'll add to that but then this little segment, I think, will be good. So if it's like that... Yeah, I think that's good. Oops, not with those ones. And actually, what I should do to save my poor pickaxes is I should just hop on the roof from the back side of the roof, just because then it'll just be easier to hop up back and forth, and I won't ruin pickaxes. Oh, it's a win-win, really. Okay. Then we can do some of this. We'll kind of just drag it this way. Just kind of see what this is looking like so far. Yep, I'm liking it so far. Now, if I just go out again, I would say we'd probably put something there on top of this right here. And that'll be good for this one. I think because we have a green piece kind of in the middle here, let's try to have a green piece like right on this edge. So we'll kind of have it be if we go like right around here and then drape across the front. I think that will be good. I feel like that's better. If we put something here, let me see how that looks. Yeah, I like how this is looking. 
And then, since we're kind of putting this over here, we can kind of just put some blocks here. Kind of just add to the connective bits that this is. Then we just get that connected. We can put a flower in one here. And then we'll put one right there. And one there. And maybe we just put one back. And then flowering one there, and then we'll add a, a stair for here. I feel like this is too concentrated. That's my like one concern. So if we kind of separate these out a little bit more. It's kind of like I have a whole nother like <laughs> build in here. Look at this. Here's all this space. This could be like secretive. It's literally just hollow. <laughs> that, it's, it's just hollow. Nothing, nothing crazy, just hollow. Kind of funny. Alright, so I have to put these back now, because we're not keeping them there. And then go like so. Put that back. Oh, and it is time to sleep. Can I sleep here? Yes, I can. I'll take a sip of my coffee. Alright. And then maybe we just do a little bit on the back side. And then we put shears. Put some like right here. Just kind of figuring out what makes sense and where to place them. And just kind of just figuring it out for yourself. I'm kind of just like looking at them and like staring at some leaves to figure out what I think would be the best spots for all of these. It is really fun that they can kind of just like wander a little bit outside, get some, some sun and go in the shade, you know? It's a good balance. I feel like they get a little bit of everything right now. Which is, which is really nice. I'm glad that I uh, thought to give them a little outside area. It's kind of nice for them. Alright, and then we're hopping up here. Here that's flowering. Okay. Then from the back, just a little bit. And from the front, just a little bit. And I feel like the middle needs like something, but I'm not too like picky about this middle bit. Like this can kind of just be what it becomes. And then we'll kind of just push it through and over it. And this one kind of goes across like so. Then we can kind of angle this one back a little bit more. Like so. Oh, 
Perfect. Okay. I like it. I think this is good. And then we'll put the flowering one there. We'll actually bring this one down one. There. And put the flowering one a little bit further down. Put this one right here. And then... I feel like this is good for, like, draping this one. We'll drape that one a bit more, though. This back one, pretty draped. I like that. These ones didn't need to be, like, super draped to begin with. And push off the edge. This one works. Oh, hi, buddy. Hello. Alright. Sweet. So now we've got leaves on our barn. And I think that looks way cuter. Then what we talked about doing is just adding some little bits of spruce onto the roof. And I still think that's going to look really nice. So we will add some of those. These leads I'm going to put in here for now. And then we've got this, and we've got our path. I should remove these from my inventory while I'm doing this. Pathing. And what's really nice is literally all I have to do is come through these sides here and just like bone meal this and it's already gonna look way better. So, so exciting. Like just a little bit of bone meal on the sides. Just makes it look way better all the way around, even in the back. Gives us some flowers. And even though we're not like technically like done with, we could do a lot more as far as just making this path look so much better. But even look at that, just adding bone meal. Like this doesn't look as pretty, but if we're just looking at that, it's very lush and overgrown, right? So even just adding a little bit of bone meal literally just changes it all. And then I usually don't keep a lot of these really tall ones. I usually will get rid of some of them just because oftentimes they're a little too tall and frankly creepers hide behind them so I'm always a little bit like nope you can't stay I do not risk at the tall plants because creepers but you can keep a few of them like it just depends you know but like to me I feel like that looks way better without the tall ones so that's that's my personal preference when I'm doing some a bone mealing but then this is going to be the path that we're going to take and how we're going to link everything up is my idea. So then this will just kind of wind itself over here. And I do need to go behind this and double dirt it. So I'm going to leave this kind of path blocked so that I remember to go inside my little, my little cave area and fix that. already looks really really nice take a look at that and then we'll add some more bone meal because why not honestly why not it just adds to it Yeah, I don't really like the two tall ones. Okay. Looky, it's all, oh, look at that. And look where we started today, guys. Just look at that. We did a little terraforming, but look at how pretty this is. I just need to find pigs. <laughs> uh, pigs is like the last thing I need. So I think I, I haven't seen pigs on my map in a while. And I think what I want to do is just try to use our little little friends here and since I don't see pigs 
I'm gonna see if I can find some at the other village. So we'll, we'll try for that. We'll try for some piggies over there. If not, we might just, uh, you know, have to save that for a different adventure. Okay. Oh, there's moo blooms. I forgot about there being moo blooms. All right, piggies. We've got bees. Pigs on the map. Hello, piggy friends. Any piggy friends? There's a bear. I could go grab a bear. <laughs> Okay, I guess we just kind of, uh, walk around. I feel like they should be in, like, meadows, but maybe I'm wrong. But in my mind, I just think that that's just where they belong. So I'm just gonna kind of, um, do a little bit of, oh gosh, imagine if I just, <gasps> there's a capybara and a cat, oh. Maybe we don't need pigs. Maybe we need capybars. If I don't see pigs soon, <gasps> we can have a hamster. Oh, no, we'll, we'll make another place for those dudes. Was there any pigs in this village? Like in pens? <gasps> a pig. Yes, pigs. We got a piggy. I don't need ch I need two pigs, so. <gasps> There's two! Yes, okay. Um, um. We're just dropping. Nice cave. Spooky cave. Not a fan of the cave. Hi, piggy. Oh, I can't reach you. Oh, there's a pebble on this. That's interesting. Okay, there's nothing in this one and there's nothing in this one. Hi, piggies. Come with me. That that worked really well, actually. I'm not going to lie. That was smooth. And there's more kitties. Okay, so for now, we bring the piggies home. The piggies will live in our space. And then we will go find more friends. And... We could make like a different type of space because I would love to have like more bees in our area and I have a silk touch tool so like we can grab them and maybe actually we could just wait till it's night. Let's do that. Let's um... Oh, hi wind. Hello. It's interesting that the wind just literally just like pushes you around. <laughs> Don't know how to feel about this. But let's see here. Hi hamster. Hello dude. The wind is trying to get me. I'm running quicker though. So we've got pigs, which is great. Hi, guard. Now I just need to find where those beehives were. They're around. I just need to find where they are. Oh, beehives. I've seen you. Where are you though? And I want it to be night so they stay inside their little spot. <laughs> I feel like there was one down here for some reason. Ow. I feel like I was I had some in here. I don't know why that's my thought. It wasn't there. <gasps> Honey, there's a bee. There's three bees. Yes, okay. This is Silk Touch. Bee location. Yeah. So we've got... Oh no, if I don't keep these, I'm gonna be so sad. If they don't... Please still be there. <laughs> oh, I'd feel so bad if they just weren't there all of a sudden. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna sleep because it's scary. And there's mobs. Okay. Now we go back home, because we've got bees and we've got pigs. And I need to eat. <laughs> Gotta do some munching. Have a little snack break. Okay, now we go home to B. And then, okay, let's try putting a beehive amongst the wheat. I feel like that's a good idea. 
so we'll put a beehive here. Whoa! Hi, guys. Look at you, you're so cute! Okay, we've got bees, so they did, that did work. I was kind of concerned. And then we do have some flowers over here. But I think I want to put the beehives there. And then if they come out, there's still some guys around. There's still some goodies. And then we have pigs. So we'll add pigs into the pen. We've got this guy and this guy. There we go. Oh, yay. And there goes the bee. Love that for us. Yay. Okay, so that means we've got our pigs. We've got llamas. We've got cows, sheep. We've got ducks and chickens. And I'm just trying to get another chickens. Um, I haven't found that many, like, at all. So I'm kind of just waiting for that. Oh, there's a little ant guy. Hi, bud. But I think this is just super cute in here. There's lots of bees that we can breed up. Look at them just on the scout. Oh, it's cute. I love that. I think that's so fun. I'm gonna just shear these to make sure. But honestly, guys, I feel like that's gonna do it. We made a beautiful animal barn. We've got all our little friends inside. I love how this turned out. I think it makes our map look very filled out. I love how like this side of our base area is starting to get filled out. And we do need to kind of complete the circle and start adding builds to this side of things and all the way around. But as far as what we have so far, I mean, our area is looking really cute. And even though I do want to do some more terraforming with our land around the little animal barn, I think for time, that's going to do it. Thanks for hanging out with me as we made our beautiful animal barn. I, I love it. I think this is such a good addition to our area. It's also so fun that we have our little friends with some outdoor fenced areas and some indoor ones. We've got some bees now. We've got llama friends. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.